I'd like it a lot if my internet service provider provided me with internet service. I'm gonna play Monster Hunter now. Fuck it. Intro, if you want it, you got it. If you need it, you see it. If you know it, you don't. And if you do it, you will. Uh, I'm gonna play Monster Hunter now. So I'm gonna turn on the video game. What if an explosion happened? Would that be cool or what? Thank you for the four month three sub, I appreciate it. Thanks for all the subs and tips and stuff what we had at the start of the stream too, I appreciate that. Six. Uh, where's the... overlay? How nice it is to relax and paint my nails while watching some monsters run around and cause trouble. Hey, hell yeah! Thank you for the 10 month resub, Medibot. I really appreciate that. And thank you, Ratters and Dedepe Decapeptil as well. I can say names. I can say words. I'm allowed to do that. It's Saturday morning. Afternoon, I suppose, technically. But I guess it's morning for some people. Warrior Thumatepth. I burned my fucking tongue on Tom Pizza. Thith thuck. Oops. Sorry to hear that, but thank you for the tip. Thank you, Rat Baby, for that brand new sub. I appreciate it. This is Monster Hunter uh, Rise. And in today's stream, we're actually going to hunt some monsters this time. Probably. Likely? Almost certainly. Last time we did the 20 hour tutorial. Today, the tutorial continues. In this one, you can use your awesome ability that you now know. And you can ride a dog. And you can stop riding a dog. So, really, the world's your oyster. Uh, speaking of which, I did do a quest this morning about collecting oysters, uh, just because I wanted to. Did I see the post about glitches from DLC dances? No, but I saw like nine people in chat just talk about it, so don't use the DLC poses, sure. Uh, I will simply do a weapon pose instead. Oh, these are some cool poses, actually. Hell yeah. Hey, Holly. I downloaded the game last night to play with a girl I like a lot. Nice! Have any advice on how to hunt monsters in the most drab way possible? In the most what way possible? Hey, what did, what did that say? Uh, the most rad way possible. I thought it tried to say straight, but said strat instead. Uh, how to hunt monsters in the most rad way possible. Uh, do your best. Believe in yourself, uh, and remember to do dumb shit because it looks cool. Uh, that's the essence of Monster Hunter, really. There's some cool goddamn poses. I'm gonna have to, like, find somewhere to pose, like, inside my house to take, like, a picture from the guild card. I guess we're not actually starting by hunting. We're starting by, uh, by posing. Uh... The rules of Monster Hunter is to never give up, but also remember that taking a break isn't considered giving up, it's considered resting. Uh, and you need to rest so that your body is strong enough to hunt monsters. Uh, and if something's not working out for you, try out something else, because, uh... There's like 14 different fucking weapons in this and all of them are cool as hell, so... If you're thinking, oh man, it sucks that I can't use the cool weapon, look in the mirror and tell yourself, Wait, they're all the cool weapons. Oh, right, I have to use the camera first, don't I? Uh, camera... Uh, Kohoot view... I guess my dog's pacing around, that's fine, that's fine. Zoom out a little. Poses! 
race. Do the great. Do the big hunt. Thanks for the 11 month resub. I appreciate it. Let's see these different poses. This one kind of owns, but you don't really see your head in it. Uh, this is a cool dynamic spinning. Uh, This is a fun little sideways view of everyone. Hell yeah! Let's see what else we can do. The point. I think Horn's got some good poses. I guess I'll just stick with that one that I took. Uh, now we go to... cards. Edit. And instead of this picture of a funny cat, uh, <laughs> we can do, um, select picture. There we go. Put this on. And then we can just have an update to show whatever for my equipment. Uh, cool. Check it out. Me and my buddies ready to go. I guess I've only done five hunts so far. I'll have to fix that. Buddy one and buddy two. Uh, we have one achievement, which is just for doing the, the tutorial, which we haven't Warriors finished. Summer tips. Don't forget to feed Big BB. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Uh, so let's get let's get started, I suppose. What we got that we can do? Uh, fill up on these, so let's do... Here's the quest list. We got any big monsters from this that we haven't done yet? This is just small guys, so... Nah. Focus on the big boys. Although... I do have to do this side quest, so... Thank you, Moop, for the three gift subs. I appreciate that. Don't forget to eat. What was this one again? I already forgot, right after I selected it. This will probably be the closest I can get to a big, big donation, but I wanted to support my absolute favorite streamer of ever. I am hoping you have a wonderful gaming and day. Hey, don't worry about, like, your amount being, like, too small and your head literally any amount, uh, of, like, financial support what people are willing and able to give means a lot to me, so thank you so much for that. That's very generous of you. I really appreciate that. Let's see. Uh, I would like to get more money, yes. And... Um... Sure. And... Are we have a gathering one? Yes. Uh, no, it's just for honey, then. Uh, I guess I'll take it, though. Get a funny collection of yellow dongo. Only villains skip this song. And thank you, Jill Jig, for the five gift subs. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Hell yeah, we got them all. All right, and it's also very important before you go on your quest. You call your bird. You pet your bird. And you feed your bird. I do want some candy apples. Later. What does NPC gotta say? I've got some great sweets. 
When I have leftover apples, I take them to the Buddy Plaza. All the buddies there really like them. It makes me happy seeing the buddies enjoy them. I wish they could try the candy ones, but I know they're too hard for buddies to bite into. Oh well. Bye. I... I mean, cats and dogs got, like, sharp teeth. They can bite into, like, raw meat and bones and stuff. I think that... I think they could probably eat a candy apple. It's just a matter of would it be good for their insides. I don't know what rules the, the, the dietary habits of these fictional animal people follow. <laughs> My supplier was ambushed by monsters and dropped all their cargo on the way back to Kamura. It was near the Shrine Ruins. I'll mark it on your map. So can you get those ingredients back, please? This'll be easy. This'll be easy. Also, while I'm here, uh, I can take advantage of, uh, just that one quest I had to do to take a picture of uh, a funny rock guy. And I remember where one of those was, so I can just go find wherever that temple was again and then take a picture of him there. Apples are okay for dogs. Your last one loved getting apple slices. Oh, puppy. Puppy love apple. Small package. Fabled Spice, a key dongo ingredient, and highly top secret. Don't tell anyone what's in it. If you tell them what's in it, you're evil, and you're gonna go to jail. Rock Lizard, there we go! Never mind, I got one right here. The animals are going hog wild. Look at this crystal lizard motherfucker. This this titanite demon. Give me the goods. Thank you. Oh, I tried to ride my dog and it just fell. Where where'd you go? Buddy? <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> doing over there? <laughs> it's the ultimate life form. We found it and captured it on film. It's fine. It's good. Uh, I wanted to also do... Uh, some mining. How would I do that? Let's see. Uh, icon list. Uh, wanted to highlight. Uh, place where I can just highlight like mining spots. Oh, I can do left and right. I see. Uh, uh, helpers. I'll end up life. Materials 1, materials 2, there we go. Mining outcrop and mining outcrop. Uh, somewhat uncommon ore is what I would like. Okay. Let's go with that and maybe get us some mining done while we're here. I figured out how to do that this morning by accident when I was doing uh, another gathering quest, so now I've got that. To look at wire bug. Get some honey. Well, this guy's asleep. I don't want to wake him. Where is the jewel ruby spot? I guess it's up, up there somewhere. Oh, I see. You probably run up here. Nice. Uh, there we go. I like these, like, uh, great wire bug things. Oh, I got on my dog by accident. And it's cool that you can, like, get collectibles that let you fly across the map. Hey, pyromatic feline! Enjoy your new skull! Oh, you could have chained onto a second one there! Oh! Interesting. Very interesting. It turns me into Elmo Fudd. There's a mining spot. Where are you? Hey, I remember this place from yesterday. I kept falling off of it. 
don't know how to get more except through the wire person in town gifting them randomly. Uh... It sounds like, like, as you progress through the story, like, he'll give you some as, like, goodies and also as, like, side quests. Like, I did get a side quest from him that was, like, take a picture of this rock lizard, and then I'll give you some wire bugs. So, Mine. I guess the answer of how do I get more of them is just continue to play the video game. There's something here. I do think it's neat that they have this mechanic of, like, oh, you can unlock these, like, uh, fast jumping spots, but you specifically choose where you want them to go, and we, like, give them to you over time. Reminiscent of a real temple you've seen that requires you to climb a cliff to get to it? Huh. Interesting. I think at, like, one point they were talking about, like, by they, I mean, like, the developers of this game were talking about how, like, they were doing research for, like, designing the locales and how they had to, like, go on vacation to actual real temples and stuff like that. Hey, Asterisk Dragon with the five-month resub! Hello. I hope you're doing well with your monster hunting. Polytones flex. Well, it was a bit of a rough start because of my internet, but, you know, other than that, uh... Having an alright day, having fun so far. All I'm doing is collecting some bones and, and rocks Let's for now, see. but... Soon the hunt. And I'm having fun. My my frame rate seems a lot better in terms of like drop frames uh, now that I've restarted my router. Maybe I should just like fucking restart it before I do a stream now every day. Maybe that'll help with like stability, as it were. Uh, where is it? Down here? Down here, guys. Below me? Below me? Below me? Below me? Nothing here. There we go. Making progress. All right. Nice. It's 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 neat uh, playing a Monster Hunter game that I'm not like super familiar with yet, and like having to rediscover all these things. Puppet Spider. Spider that spits a sticky web which can be used like reins for wyvern- Oh! Item that you throw to like get a mount off right away, I guess. Huh. Yeah, Charlotte. Uh, Gunlance looks really cool in this one. I mean, I'm gonna try out probably everything eventually, but uh... I'm thinking the ones I want to try next about uh, after um... After I like sink my teeth real deep into hunting horn is like Gunlance... A uh, longsword and insect glaive. A lot of people sounded like they weren't so hot on insect glaive based on like like the early trailers, but uh, like they showed off some really fucking cool stuff you can do with the weapon, so I'm, I want to give it a shot. Tried the demo, but was made painfully aware of the fact that you don't like playing on controllers and the Switch is basically a giant controller. It's a lot better with a pro controller. Uh, I couldn't imagine playing it on the Joy-Cons. He big dog. Nice. <laughs> the dog is very big. Thank you, Muppy Dups. Let's see. For the 10 month resub, I appreciate it. And I say I couldn't imagine playing on the Joy-Cons as someone that used to play Generations Ultimate on the Joy-Cons uh, during bus rides. <laughs> Don't have Joy Cons. You have the Switch Lite. The Switch Lite is Joy Cons, but they're just like fused to the, the to, this, to the Switch. You can't take them off. That's what the Joy Cons is like when they're docked. It's a uh, it's a control scheme that doesn't seem like the best for Monster Hunter. That's I'll say that much. Oh, what the! I just kicked that blindly. What are you? An armor sphere. Thank you. I'm just harassing the wildlife, and I feel kind of bad. I kind of wish I could get the goodies from them without, like, fucking giving them the boot like that. Jesus. Let's get, uh, over here. I suppose if I really want to do some, like, dedicated mining, I should just, like, do an expedition and go mining instead of doing, like, in the middle of another quest. I guess it doesn't really matter. You got 50 minutes to collect six goodies on the floor. 
like playing with Joy-Cons, but you can't play with them connected to the screen for very long. Makes your joint pain so much worse. Oh, jeez. That's no good. Uh, got any goodies in here? Uh, excuse me, ignore me. I'm just walking, okay? I'm just walking through, okay? Here we go. I guess there are people that prefer playing Monster Hunter on, like, mouse and keyboard, which is wild to me because I could never imagine doing that, but... My. You know, World was on PC. Some people preferred that control scheme. Probably just the muscle memory on my part that, like, makes me only want to use the controller for it, but, you know. Any goodies here? No. Awesome! Time for a jump! I said time for a jump. Through hair. Piece of cake. Oh, cute. The cat finally gets to ride the dog. We get bonus bunny. Leg day dongo is now available to order. <laughs> the hell does that do? <laughs> What does that do? I gotta know. All right, uh, my owl came to say hi. Bye. Love you, bud. We got a sale going on, so let's I've enter the lottery. You wish to try your luck? Jackpot! A wonderful prize. A statue modeled after Kimura's guildmaster said to usher in good fortune. We finally have a trinket for our house. And it's a single statue of the <laughs> the fucking Tetsukabra guy. Let's go. Uh, let's go set it up. Hey, bud. Uh, room customization. Golden Hojo cast. Oh, we we can't have like multiple of it. Okay, unless I like eventually collect multiple. But there we go. Uh, how are the Mirror Scenarios doing? Let's receive our items for now. Cool. So we got uh, some more Lenny Apples, Bitterbug, Spider Rabbit, and Honey. Good. Uh, you keep on going. Let's get uh, our Sleep Herbs. Uh, you're still level 4, so you can't really do anything. Um, let's see what we got. No, special goods, though. Actually, super weird. You played World on PC using a Switch Pro controller, so you bought an Xbox controller and May Flash to let you use Xbox on your Switch for Rise, just like the attack buttons being on the bottom and left buttons rather than the top and right. I... I mean, I used a Switch Pro controller for... Uh, for, for, for World on PC as well, but, like, the attack buttons were top and right, which is how it's been for every Monster Hunter. That's, again, I guess that's just muscle memory, me being used to using those buttons, because that's what it's always been. Uh, that's wild, though, specifically getting an Xbox controller so that you can use it on a Switch. <laughs> scroll depicting the Kimura gang. Everyone is striking a cute pose. I would like that. I would like a cute pose. Uh, and let's check on the buddy dojo. Uh, we still got four rounds of training. Okay. So let's do the interior. Can we have one scroll? Oh, we can put things in the alcoves as well. It's true. Change this one to this nice picture we have of me and all of our friends. Uh... Oh my god, this is adorable. Oh, I like this a lot, actually. Oh, I like this a lot, actually. 
You're a devil woman who put hours into Monster Hunter Try with a normal Wii controller. No controller can stop you from playing Monhun? Charlotte, every day I'm terrified of your power. Every day I'm glad that the claw grip is gone and I never really had to experience that. That sounded agonizing, my god. <laughs> you come into the house and first you see what's most important to you. Little blowing cat. And then, uh... You know, this nice sort of like hangout and resting area. Got a picture of me and the buds. And, uh... A picture of the doctor by the fire to remind you to stay healthy. With this nice scroll. Uh... What? What the fuck? <laughs> it is I, <laughs> Fukushigi the Informant, at your service! <laughs> Particularly small rat! Secret cat! <laughs> I give him the four month up! A fucking tissue box just slid off my desk in shock. I covered my tracks so carefully, yet you found me anyway! You really are a first-rate Kimura hunter. I can't divulge my true identity, but I'm a connoisseur of secrets, let's say. I often get my paws on new information that's sure to pique your interest. I look forward to working with you. What the fuck? <laughs> this rules? We just have a secret agent in our house? It is I, Fukushigi the Informant, at your service. Very well, I'll impart you the third dirty secret of Kimura. That mysterious beast guildmaster Hojo sits upon is really a baby Tetsukabra, hence its name, Tetsi! Wait, was... Was Automod trying to stop the word Goi? What? For real? Automod? Its favorite food appears to be bunny dongo, but every once in a while, it snacks on fish from the river. By my whiskers, wasn't that juicy? I'll update you again once you've completed an urgent quest from Hinoa. Do you have, like, other dirty secrets, though? The third dirty secret. Oh, that's just... Okay, so you don't tell me the first and second ones? Or unless it's, like, ranked from third to second to first? Really curious about the first two secrets and can't find them anywhere? I'm gonna have to make like a whole new save file just to hear that, honestly. <laughs> Man! I wonder how many people were like aware of that, like even being a thing in the game. I have seen no one talk about it, which is probably because they want to keep it a funny secret. Uh, I respect that. How are you today? Alright, let's quest. Uh, oh, wait, no, first. I'll be uh, here if you need me. This guy, I want to turn in the thing and get more bugs from you. Give me those bugs. You got the picture? Great. Now let me take a look. Uh -huh. Amazing. So this is the lizard in the stone-cold flesh. I see. So that's what that part is. And, ah, yes, this appendage is for that. Sure. Oh, sorry, got a little carried away there. This stuff is so fascinating. This guy is like me. <laughs> Here, I caught you these great wire bugs. Should come in handy during a hunt. Hang in there. Hell yeah, bud. Go. My first day in Kimura, I saw a bunch of hunters just zipping around on those crazy wire thingies. I was like, what is going on? I almost soiled myself the first time I tried it. Thanks for telling me. I think I screamed the whole time. Once you get the hang of it, it is the coolest thing. Even cooler when it saves you from getting knocked on your butt. Used to recover quickly if a monster sends you flying. Let's take some butt. Sure. Thanks, bud. I guess. <laughs> Lyrics in BGM is so underrated. Listening to how the mixing works in this game reminds you when you played hours upon hours of Near. I really like the singing in here. Yeah, it's wonderful. Also, yeah, I saw someone earlier mention, like, uh, I can forgive them for not including G-Rank just because of how many little details there are, and, like, honestly, I'm inclined to agree. There's, like, there's so much care and love put into, like, even the smallest details of this game, and it's 
It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. This game is good. Okay. Uh, no other side quests to do from like this. Did that one, so let's. Oh god, it's time to fight Kizu. Good luck. It's time to fight a fucking Kizu. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Uh, uh more Kimura points. Oh, decreases stamina and depletion while wall running. Interesting. Cool. Um, polisher and deflector, because this guy's got a hard body. Is that how it's pronounced? Keezy? It's how I've always pronounced it. I've heard, like, an official, like, voice stuff that called it Kezu, but... I don't know, Keezu just sounds better to me. Let's order! pronunciation of monsters in Monster Hunter. If you say the name of it, even if it's quote-unquote wrong, and people know what monster you're talking about, who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? It's time to feed my fucking owl. Also, yeah, I do like, uh that, uh, the Dongo shows up in, um, in, 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 like, the little animation, depending on which ones you choose. Let's pet the Kohoot. Now let's feed the bird. Boop, 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 I'm glad I chose this voice type because this is actually how I talk to animals. All right, let's chuck some shit uh, uh, in here. Away, away, away! I'll keep the mega potions on hand just because I feel like I might get my shit a little bit kicked in uh, by the Kizu. Let's go. I got a cup of, coffee, cup of coffee that I've been, like, slowly nursing throughout, uh, the morning. There I was, taking a rest when something wet dripped on my shoulder. I looked up and ew, wrinkles, veins, and ick, a pale monster with a face that looks like a- <clears throat> Nocturnal creatures coming out to feast. Find themselves becoming prey to this long-necked beast. Down the hatch they go, definitely deceased. Craven miscreant, show your mug if you dare. But when it turns to face you, you'd rather be elsewhere. Its perturbing expression, a sight too much to bear. Blank stare. Kizu. Yo, that guy looks like a willy penis! That guy looks like a wee willy winky! That's a wiener! That's an electric with no balls! <laughs> I'm gonna do the part of the stream where I act like a three-year-old, uh... Because dick is funny. That's the biggest trouser snake I ever did see! Wario's summer tits. Hey guys, Wario here. Oh my goodness, guys, my stomach is rolling from eating the tango and garlic. Oh my goodness. But uh, look, guys, look, it's one of my greatest achievements. Kazoo the most to hunt to rise. 
I hate the idea of eating dango and garlic, so thank you for that. And thank you for the tip. Oh, jewelry Lily found? Where? 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 Show? Show me? Oh, right here. Let's plonk that shit down. That's an electric with no balls is making you collapse. <laughs> it came to me in a sudden flash, and I was very proud of it. Damn, this puts you right across the map. Neat. Uh, oh, another one. Sure. Kazoo, raw meat, and plenty of it. <laughs> raw meat, and plenty of it. You crack an egg on it. Add in some salted baggy. <laughs> The best cure I ever had for a hangover was raw kizu, and plenty of it. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with that specific David Lynch quote from some fucking episode of Twin Peaks. I've not actually seen Twin Peaks yet. I've been talking with a friend about possibly watching it together sometime soon. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I should eat one of these rations. I should also probably at some point just like sit down, gather some raw meat, and just like cook all of it on a BBQ spit. Uh, I'll take poison. Frog that discharges a poison gas. Nice. Some of these early hunts are really just gonna be me sort of like figuring out the map and figuring out where I can go to get uh, more spear birds to help get buffs for fights. So like get up my health and stuff just because. Uh, Kizu is very rude and can teach you a bad lesson. Uh, pick up some of these. Get my affinity up. Because I like to do critical hits. I'm assuming that's what that is. That looks like the affinity boost. Uh, status symbol. I see a goodie up there. And a Thunder Beetle. I'll take that. Rolls up mud containing thunder-infused monster hair into balls. <laughs> balls. Oh, shit. There's two guys over here. They're gonna have a fight. Let's go. It's you. I've seen you. You are the one from my dreams. And the stars were right. Shit, I should have recited to get through the screen. Oh, okay. It's uh, away! Bye. I'll, uh... See... See you later, I, I guess. Uh, let's... Go after it? <laughs> I want to poison it. I want to. I want to make this guy get poisoned. So. Enjoy poison, you son of a bitch. My buddy. Uh oh. Oh, I flew in the poison too. I don't have any antidote. Unless I picked up some antidote. I did not. Oops. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. So it does like a shotgun blast of electricity like that, so you have to be careful. Oh, it also does like a big aura like that, so you have to be careful. It also does that, so you have to be careful. Kizu is just a constant exercise in, so you have to be careful. <laughs> Got 
gonna lunge. Oh, come on. Ooh! Oh god, that's bad. No, it's bad! Oh, that's bad! It's fucking bad! And that's Kizu! That's how the fight tends to go sometimes. <laughs> Correct, that did suck! I figured Kizu might kick my ass in, and that might be like the first death of the file. My. Turns out I was right. It turns out poisoning yourself in front of the monster. Bit of a tactical misstep. Uh, what's this? Stamina use down. Uh, he's just not too far. I can run up to it real quick, like, and hey, get another bird on the way. Nice. Oh, you're... You're leaving. I think this gold one gives you all the buffs if you get it and, like, maxes them out, so I grab it. Thank you for the goodies. Yo, Lottie with the raid! Thank you so much. I hope you had a wonderful stream today. We're fighting, Kizu. Nasty man. Hey, 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 you. Oh, okay, you're going down. Hand scream. Magnum Allo makes you cry? Oh, man, I'm scared and excited to fight him eventually. Oh, no, no, get out of there. Woo hee hee! Ha ha. There we go. Now that's the good stuff you like to see. Hey! Four months. Wow. Thank you, Boxtropaw, for the four month resub. I appreciate it. Okay, I feel cool for rolling through that. Let's blow up your wing. Do I did that too early to try an iframe through that. Yeah, Kisu's not a key quest, so I'm just doing it because I want to. No one you're close enough for that. Okay. <laughs> this rude motherfucker. This isn't good. Shit. Oh. Oh, get out of there. Okay. Let's chug. Let's chug and get charged. Oh, there's like a this guy over here. I'm just gonna touch him. There we Oreo's go. Summer text. Here's some facts about Kazu. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> oh, enough of screams at me. I'm begging you. Are you tired? Oh, you tired, big sleepy baby? Have a taste of this. How about this? Got him. Oh, it's time. Oh, it's time. This is gonna be good. Amazing. Amazing. Haha, <laughs> I got the triple. Bye. None of that. Oh, you're tired. Oh, you're so tired. You can't do a big blast on me. Got him. I like that no matter where you really hit that, uh, it still like gets the stun off on it. I really like that. Oh, sharpness down. That's bad. Yeah, you stay there and do that while I sharpen. Thank you! So kind of you to wait. 
Oh, big boy's, big boy's tired. Oh, so sleepy. Oh. Look at me, I'm Kizo. I have to go to bed when I get tired. I would simply eat a meal. How do you sharpen an instrument? What? I don't understand the question. What do you mean? By sharpening it. This is a question that is answered by the nature of the question. Thank you, Infinity Dragon, for that brand new sub. I appreciate it. Is this is this even the right way? This is. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm going a bit of a roundabout way, but uh, I can go down this ways. Riding on my dog. Hey, hey, hey you, hey, hey you, hey, hey, hey you, hey you. I should start bringing like traps and tranks on my quests now that I have like enough materials to craft them. Start capturing some things. Mistakes were made. Uh, apologies if you hear that in the background, that is a vacuum. Oh, the tail hit. Oh god, oh god, trouble. I should heal! <laughs> awesome. Good night! The 11 month resub. I appreciate it. Looks like a Volk dead hand of Zelda? What's a dead hand? Yo, what is this? Hover frog? Decoy? Hello? I love you, but what are you doing? <laughs> Another successful hunt! <laughs> it's still just like farting in the background. <laughs> Flabby hide, now usable as a material thanks to mysterious, oh, recent advances. Has mysterious properties. Best quality is wiggles. I do quite like the wiggles. I do. Thank you for the tip, PK. Something I appreciate it. <laughs> oh God. I'd love to shout at my cats and tell them you did such a good job. We are so good at fighting the big penis. Like how my character is constantly yelling, me too. That's the kind of energy I'm trying to have. Uh, uh we got any? Nope. Okay. How about this weather? Broke monster parts. Let's see what subquests we can get. Uh. Hmm. Let's give us like the same reward. Uh. This immunizer and a jumbone, so I guess I'll take that. We've got plenty of other things that are just given us armor spheres, so let's go for this one. I usually end up breaking parts anyways. Uh, so let's go on a quest. A let's see. These are all key ones. Small guys and deliveries, which I'll probably just do in my own time. So let's do... Uh, I've never 
fought a great Roggy before, so... Let's try that. Obloxious, obnoxious Lord, Noxious Monster. From Lord's Aid. Oh dear. The Lord's son heard a great Roggy was in the flooded forest and went out to hunt it. What a fool. Surely he'll There's run at the so first sign of, of danger. I'd get confused too. Uh, okay. I was, I was talking, but thank you. Surely he'll run at the first sign of danger. Can you hunt the creature before my lord gets hurt? Be careful out there. We are fucking under attack! My lord, get poisoned now! For free! Transfer that, transfer that. Put these away. And I'll get... Um, let's sort these. Here's poison that heals you a bit. True Blue's poison restores some health. That sort of stuff. Uh, crafting list. And throw blue mushrooms for that, so let's just make some more of those. And take them with us. Uh... Yes, please, thank you. Uh... Cool. Okay. Oh, she's cleaning the tables this time. Oh my god, the little sailor cat is here. Phew! Time to get my tail in gear. With my dog uh, clipping through you, are you okay? Are you good? God, I do like Xamtrios too. I hope Xamtrios comes back someday. Me and my big mouth. I caused all that trouble saying there were ghosts in the ruins. Now the children in the village are scared. I want to make up for it and work out what's going on, but Master Hojo looked at me all scary, so I gave up. Still, something's definitely happening over there, and we need to know. Especially if it's not the Rampage. Okay. Uh, I guess we should probably do a Motley mix as well, get some, get some goodies. Uh, get myself some more... Uh, What's it called? Uh, some more steaks. Let's do that. I want five. Let's do that. Just a moment. Thanks. Time to eat him's meal. Uh, uh, Carver is nice. I like to get extra goodies sometimes. Keywords sometimes. Uh, speed up sharpening. And... Oh, I misread this. I thought it said, Restores health to allies in the area upon farting once. That's... Very much not what it says. Make spear birds more likely to approach you. Uh, you sure. Flavor, or <laughs> it's always so hard to choose. Let's go for Buddy's treat, actually. I think Buddies deserve a treat. just realized she decorates these to look like little guys? Yeah, they look like little bunnies. It's cute. That's why they're bunny dongo. Let's feed the owl. You wonder if speedrunners skip this? I mean, speedrunners usually just do, like, individual quest runs and not, like, full game runs. So, uh... You can li you can look at the cutscene all you want. It won't affect your run times. The run only starts when you're in the mission. Buddy, God, I love the owl. I love the owl so much. Yeah. 
Thanks for all those of you in the mountain mix. Uh, free tickets, please. Thank you. Let's quest. Play free and discreetly now, my lord. Get poisoned without your wife knowing. Only on mobile devices. Try and beat the puzzle. 90% can't. Among these endless streams, Among? not is what it seems. Beasts lurk in the shadows, claiming many a soul. Beware these dark waters, they will swallow you whole. I can say one word and everyone goes fucking wild. Cursed hunting ground. Those who set foot there never again are found. For when the bird wyvern comes and unleashes its breath, its virulent poison brings a swift death. Holy shit. Venomous Commander, Great Roggy. This guy's got a pig nose! Is this guy a pig raptor? Let's go. Oh fuck! I've never actually fought a Roggy before. Uh, they weren't in any of the games I played, so... This guy new to me. Yo, Floppin' Fish! I know this is like a returning map from uh, an older game, which is neat. Uh, and you know, for folks that haven't played uh, many or any of the past Monster Hunters, uh, like a lot of the aesthetics they pull from uh, for like their world design and like armor design and stuff, uh, like there's a lot of like Japanese influences and quite a bit of it, but there's also a lot of like South American influences as well, which I think is really neat. Like, obviously, like, South America and, like, its native people aren't a monolith, but, uh... Like, they, they like, they, they pull inspiration from, like, a lot of the different cultures uh, of that area, which I think is really neat. It's cool. <clears throat> Roggy is from three originally, including this map? Nice! Hey, what's up here, though? Oh, and a fucking Meelinx that's gonna try and rob me. I should have Doggy Call on uh, speed dial just so I can ride my dog. Thank you! Is that you? That's you! Also, I should have my uh, poison cures on fast. Hey, 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 where you going? Where you going? Hey, hey! Howdy, motherfucker. Whoop! No, you don't. It helps my target, you know, I suppose. Nice. Am I close enough to use this? Just barely. Nice! Right, I gotta remember the double X is, uh, it pushes you back a little. Double A's going forward. Oh, you got the stun already, sure. I'll take it. Boing. Alright, broke that already. And then, uh, double X and A, it looks like it keeps your feet planted. Oh shit, turf war. All right, let's ride this bear. Let's ride this bear. Time for you to obey. Bear rib. I keep forgetting that's the launch button and not the attack button, but I suppose it does instantly let you just like launch this, so. 
cool. It works. I'll take it. And also, the Arzaros is still helping me wail on this guy, so... Oh god, I need to sharpen, but... I still gotta get used to the new mounting mechanics. I'm not used to, like, the binds... Like, the buttons and what they do. <laughs> Thanks for the materials that you have dropped. I'm just getting started. So I probably should have gotten on my dog before I did that, but oh well. I see some birds over there. I want to grab birds. You love the Roggy armor? I like uh the male version of the Roggy armor, and then like the female one, it's just like it's a very naked armor set, and that makes me sad, because I don't really like those. There we go. Because there was another bird here, I thought. No. Oh, also the Roggy is just here. Hey, buddy. That somehow hit the head. I'll take it. Thanks for coming back. Oh, now you're tired. Oh, look at you. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I sure hope no one uses an attack on me. Oh, now he's running. Okay, bye. It's slipping away. My funny doggy's going hog wild. This should fix it. I should probably just sharpen on the way, given how this thing has real bad sharpness levels. My. Gotta try and upgrade this soon to get a bit of green on it. Or, like, green on anything, really. No. I would like to get out of yellow sharpness hell. Uh, for... Yeah, the doggy gets a Kasarigami as one of its abilities. Oh, Jewel Lily. Uh, it seems like dogs get, like, a bunch of abilities that you unlock over time, including, like, scrolls that do things, and, uh, the cool chain whip, and, like, metal jaws that seem to do different effects. Stuff like that. It's neat. And it looks like it's, like, uh, while cats have, like, a static set of, uh, skills that they spawn with, uh, dogs is, like, you can put whatever combinations of skills you want on them. Oh, this is nowhere near the... The Roggy. I'm going the wrong way, but I guess I'm getting a heal, so. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where are you? I hear you! Are you, like, up here? Hang on a tick. Oh, you're up here! Fuck! Okay. I see you, I hear you. Hey. Oh, it's weak too. God, no, come back. I forgot to bring tracks and tranks, god damn it. Although I suppose I could... Nah, I kind of just want to end it. Oh, I got poison too. Oh. Here it comes! That takes care of that. Ludroth is in this game, yeah. One of the the demo loadouts was the Royal Ludroth hammer and like armor set. Alright, that sonic barrier thing is really helpful, actually. That just let me tank through that, like, big hip check it did. Coming. Uh, let's... Whip this completely, I guess. Although I still hit it in the head, so that feels good. I did it. Here comes the messy part. 
Folly so good at this game? Eh, I'm okay at it. I've spent a couple... thousand hours between several of the games, so... You know, I've got some progress. <laughs> I've got some practice. A brace from a great Rogi covered in scales that also includes claws and plate. Nice. Hi, Folly. Hi! Thank you, Buddy Grass, for the 8 month resub. I appreciate it. How many carves was that? Four? I wasn't paying attention. Maybe? I did get the, the carver skill, so. Keep it busy. Maybe that procced and I got a fourth carve. Apparently, pressing B during this makes you able to just walk cake. around instead of watching the camera pan around when you beat a quest. That's always been a thing, I think. I just don't like cancelling it because I like seeing the camera pan around. <laughs> White on orange pattern almost looks dyed. Uh, uh, and the broken part reward. A beak from a great Rogi. Careful with it, it's still poisonous. Toadversary, a large toad-shaped contraption sitting in the Kimura training area. It's called the Toadversary? <laughs> oh, that's really cute. <laughs> Finally, we found it, the equal dragon frogger. Thanks for your help. Can we deliver this? Oh, we can. Thank you so much. Now I can continue making my prototype. Goka says thank you too. And here's the gear I promised. If you have any feedback, I'd be happy to hear it. I hope that tales of you and your geared up Palamutes endeavor spread far and wide across the land. Guarding Parasite. Look. What's that dude? Let's go see. Hello, buddy board. Uh, Palamute gear. Let's see. An iron layered umbrella shield for canines, capable of both attacking and defending. Huh. Interesting. I would love some candy apples. Hey, Holly, the there aren't really ghosts in the shrine ruins, are there? I heard some merchants in Yomogi's tea shop say there were. I'm not scared of monsters because you'd get them for me, but, but, but ghosts? You can hunt monsters. Everyone knows monsters are real. They don't live under your bed. They live in the woods and they live out in the jungle. But ghosts? The fuck do you do against ghosts? Welcome to my shop. Take care. Nothing new at the shop. Hey, Fisher Buddy. Hello, Holly. Congratulations. Now go on, have some fish. Why? Because fish are packed to the gills with all the nutrition a hunter needs. So eat up. If this ain't enough for you, I'll go reel in a fresh catch right now. Fish have boatloads of nutritional value. And nutrition is key to man and feline's health alike. If you want a strong body, then eating fish is the way to go. Here you go, I guess. What? You're a real hunter now? You definitely look pretty slick carrying around that big weapon. Can I hold it? No? Oh, man. Yeah. When Komitsu saw you earlier, she was like, Wow, Holly looks so cool. Uh -huh. Guess she only digs hunters. It's the big deal. Chefs are cool, too. I'm always making rice balls for her. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. not that I care. I make rice balls for everybody. That's my job. There's nothing special about her. Later. Bro, it's okay to care about people. You don't gotta be like this, bro. Maybe if you were nice to her, uh, then she wouldn't be spurning you like this. I know you're like eight, but come on. Those buddies really caused Iori a bunch of trouble, but luckily, everyone got through okay. You know, when Komitsu has leftover apples and stuff, she takes them all down to the buddy plaza. Isn't that nice? Komitsu is so kind to everyone. Why do I end up doing all that mean stuff to her? Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not the mean one here. It's it's all her fault. If she came over and talked to me once in a while. Maybe I wouldn't have to say and do that stuff to get her attention. Take care. 
Oh, you're gonna learn today, kid. I do like these funny jumping mushrooms. Wiggling and jiggling. Like, bro, I know you're eight, but come on, we gotta have a talk about, like, manners and respecting other people. Oh, invisible wall. Dang it, I wanted to jump into that water wheel. Welcome. Let's see what they got. Uh... We don't have any support cats yet, do we? What let's see. Yeah, no, we got a heal, we got a gather, and we got a bomb. So let's see. Uh, Stewart. Stewart. Uh, you're cute. You're a cute little kitty. Origami, Siren, and Stewart look nearly the same. Oh, that's pretty coloring. Oh. This looks like the cat that I had when I was a kid. Like, eerily similar. So, uh... I'm gonna hire you! Roger. And your name is Boots. And that's Boots. Uh, hmm. You kind of want a support cat, or an assist cat, rather, so let's, uh... Are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, all you can really scout for on Palamides is, like, the appearance, so let's scout, uh, for... Uh, set criteria. Anything for this is fine, but I would like, uh... Assist cats and fight cats. So let's go for assist first, and then we can get for some fight cats later. Uh, all settings, all that says anything, and then support type assist confirm. Yeah. There we go. Take cool, all cool, the cool. time you need. I need some time to prepare too. Good luck. Uh, how's training going? Uh, two more rounds left, and the buddies will be strong and cool. Let's see if there's any goodies. Up top our tree. Like last time. Hi! You've been busy! Thank you so much for getting these for me! Who's a good bird? You're a good bird! You are! That bird either laid or found an egg of solid steel. Uh. Interesting. Let's see if there's any cool palamutes. Oh, cute. Puppy. Ah, Crimson Miguel. You look kind of like you have an eye patch. You look kind of like a dog that a neighbor of mine had. Uh, so I kind of want to hire you. Level is low. I think that's okay. Um, I should also be looking at the skills, what you have. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Tech up large is cool. So is critical up large, but I don't know if you can fit both of those. Hmm. Unless you get like more skill memory later as you level up. And your name is going to be... Nope, not Jay. Charlie. I guess since they were French, it was Charlie, but, uh... You know. Hey! Nice. Puppy puppy. 
Take care of your I know I got more guys uh, for the Meow Scenaries, more guys to train, and more guys to condemn to the lonely sea forevermore. <laughs> Speaking of which, what have you got on offer? Uh, this is why I already have that one. Uh, rare finds. What have you got? Bombs and bombs. Are getting those right now? Ah. Ricketts has leveled up, and I can now use this. Buddy bargains at an easygoing nature of pace, and the item to tan increases slightly. I think I might actually, uh. cancel this request. Uh. We'll get, uh. What do we need now? At times, it is necessary to stand mm. still and think before making decisions. A ton of house berries we need those. I shall not press you. Listen to the stream while playing Monster Hunter Ri Rise? Hell yeah! Have fun! Let's see. Uh, we don't have so many spider webs, which we might need for like making traps. So let's maybe start getting those. And we'll send. Um... Sent out. Uh... Oh, you're just level one, so. Uh... I have to unequip a buddy first. Let's Until see. Let's swap out uh, our buddies. So instead, buddy one will be. Uh... Alright, oh, Ricketts is technically still uh, condemned to the high seas, so. Let's just unequip you for now. And for Calicos. You're training, and you're with the Meow scenario, so I can't swap that out yet. So I guess we'll keep Lola for now. And, uh, alright. Cool, cool, cool. Let's talk business. Okay. Uh, cancel this. All mutes. Send Joy out to get me some spider's webs. Uh... Firm. Let's go. Good luck out there, bud. Condemned once more to the sea, never to return. <laughs> God, that animation is so fucking funny. Alright. Uh, buddy bargaining. Let's... Uh, go for this. And we'll use some mini apples to increase that. Confirm. Alright. Uh, my uncle's dog, Joy is an expert at negotiations and will get some goodies and treats. There is in fact a dog marine in this game. It's, you can also send cats into it. I've just been choosing to send all my dogs to the briny deep for some reason. <laughs> okay, let's take the items in the box. Uh, also got a toxic Komori and some extra sleep herbs. Cool, cool, cool. The rampage. I think this island has been plagued by such a calamity. It must have been fate that I came upon this place. Very well. I shall base my operations here for now. If you and your village intend to confront these monsters, then my wares will no doubt be of use to you. Very well. Cool. Thanks. Now let's... Uh, get Ricketts on board. You're coming with us. Now let's get uh, your gear. I would like to give you uh, the parasol and the heel blade scroll. We can try that out on you. Um, also, your skills. Uh, since you can equip those now. Uh, I guess you can really just do health up and attack up for now, so that's good enough. 
My psionic warriors, shield this dog within the ocean deep. I command you. Uh, now gear. Uh, is this? No, it's equipment. It's God. The wording's a little confusing sometimes. Change equipment for you. Let's give you. Uh, change you back to the base stuff. Just because I want to equip that on my pal Ricketts. There we go. I should also check out. I saw a bunch of people talking about the the Roggy equipment, so I should look at what that looks like for the pets and stuff. I guess I'll show off what it looks like for people too, just because it's like it's funny cowboy. You'll see it's funny cowboy. Let's go check out funny cowboy. Also, let's see if there's a Roggy uh, hunting horn. Let's see. Are you forage or upgrade? Uh. No, but there is the Kizu horn. Uh, made to look like the mouth of a Kizu. You shouldn't leave it out when you sleep. <laughs> look at how fucking nasty this thing is. It's it's bad. It's fucking bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> Instead, let's see if we can upgrade uh, our Arzuro's horn. We need something that we don't have yet. But this would need... Macolite or Kestodon shells. We need to find those. I'm pretty sure I know where like, Kestodon are. They're in the desert. We also need more Neopteran parts, which is bugs. I think. Which means we need to go hunt down some fucking ants. Uh, and I'll make, I'll make this eventually. But we can upgrade this. So I'm gonna do that. No problem. But not equip it yet. Oh, and then it upgrades to the bagpipes! Fuck yeah! Doesn't have an attack up song, though, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess every horn now gives you, uh, uh attack up with the, uh, the what's it called? The, the, the. I've been calling it the Song of Ringing Steel, but that's not what it's actually called, the Infernal Melody. Oh, right, the armor, I forgot the armor. Hang on. Uh, yeah, it's, it's time to, like, do the Time Monster Hunter tradition of getting, like, a ton of fucking poison. And just throwing it at fucking ants for hours. What do you need? So, uh... Oh, also, this is the Kizu armor. It, uh... Makes you look like a gross fucking meat nurse, but also a knight. Uh... Oh, it's... They, they made it really fucking glossy in this game. That's vile. I love it. Let's see. Uh, recovery up, wall runner, recovery speed, thunder attack, focus, and slugger. A hide covered in Kizu helm. It is dark. It fits any wearer like a glove. Need to hurry. There's plenty of time. The cool material feels... Surprisingly good. Fits any and all wearers like a glove. The cool material... Feels surprisingly pleasant. Also we got uh, Akmasalm armor, which makes you look like a cool fire knight. I'm into it. Cute look. And this is the Roggy armor. It's a uh, naked cowboy when you're a woman, unfortunately. Uh, it looks better on dudes, but I do like the cowboy hat at the very least. Created by the hand of an errant blacksmith. Uh, indicates design influences from a distant land. Fashioned by an errant blacksmith, the image of hunters from distant lands. Uh, foreign style armor that stays true to the original while adding a unique twist. The esoteric design that began a fashion revolution. Impeccably practical, too? Bro, my thighs are exposed. I'm gonna get, like, bitten by mosquitoes. I'm gonna get, like, attacked by bugs on the dusty trail. This is the baggy armor. Already looked at Arzuros. Uh, then look at this, though. It's, you know, it's like a knight but blue. And this is a bug outfit. In case you like bug. That's all the armors we can make for now. Can I upgrade this more? Need. I can upgrade this more. Gotcha. Nice. Uh, now I just need some more armor spheres for the torso. Now get hunting. Okay. Uh, and now... Let's look at our cat gear that we can now make. Uh... uh 
I seen this already? I have. Okay. Uh, uh, the Alteroth we saw, Popo we saw, Azuchi we saw, Baggy we saw, Arzoros we saw. This is the Lagombi set. Makes you look a funny bunny. This is the Rogi set for cats. <laughs> <laughs> the guitar! An odd blunt instrument from a faraway land. Its strings make music when plucked. You can give your palico their own hunting horn. Also, there's the Aknasom set, which is cute, little bird knight. And the Kizu set, your little nurse with a syringe full of, uh. stuff. <laughs> a horrific palica weapon that weakens targets with an electric injection. This is safe and up to code, so it's fine. Let's look at the Palamute equipment as well. Uh, did we see the Lagombi set? Oh, this is cute, yeah. Canine Rogi set. Oh my god. Horse, horse, horse. And... A fucking brass knuckle for your dog? <laughs> a brass jaw piece, I guess? A cape. Headgear with a badge that marks the wearer as a protector of the wastes and chest armor of the brave guardians of the Badlands. Almost as cool as they are. Also the Aknasama set. Funny bird dog. And... Ugh. I'm not keen on this one. I'm really not keen on this one. This one's covered in scalpels. Ugh. Rusted yet yearns for more prey. <laughs> Strange floppy headgear with an opening for noses to track the scent of blood. Soft and floppy white armor with a weird texture. Its wearer looks like a ghost. Oh god, it hides, it hides your eyes too. This is like Assassin's Creed, but made of meat. Assassin's Greed, I guess. So we need one, two, three, four for that, and I assume also four for... Yeah. Okay, so let's trade for scraps. Uh, a rocky scrap. Um, um... Well, we're gonna trade this beak, I guess. Thank you. Uh, trade these. Trade these. All right, now I've got enough. Let's. God, so stylish. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. All right. Let's throw some items back away. Uh, do we have anywhere to fast travel to? No, nothing urgent. So let's get some quest rewards. I have heard a rumor that they make terrible and problem weapons for cats now. Uh huh. I hope you're able to use them as a special power. It's my awesome power to use all kinds of bad and fucked up weapons for my cats and dogs every day. Thank you, darling Demon Eclipse, for the tip. I really appreciate that. Alright. What's next? We can hunt a Royal Ludroth. I've seen those ones before. You know how Royal Ludroth hide is all spongy and absorbs lots of water, right? If we get a bunch of it, then desert farmers will never have to worry about watering their crops ever again. I am a genius. Nice. I, I do like the sort of, like, in-universe dichotomy of some quests being like, uh, you know, uh, if we use these monster, like, materials, we could probably, like, revolutionize such and such a thing and, like, help all these people. And then some of them is like, oh, this is, like, encroaching on our land and eating all of our food and, like, endangering our people. You need to drive it off. And then some of them are just like... Can't fucking stand this guy. Fuck him. Get him out of here. Son of a bitch. What the fuck is this guy's problem? Oh my god, did you see those two cats just go ham on the mochi for a second? Get your bunny dongo right here! All delicious! Uh, harvester, sure. Um... 
Medic is nice. And trainer. Let's make my buddy stronger. I'm embarrassed to admit that I did the fucking, like, cup hand flourish this morning when I was drinking my coffee. Without, like, really realizing what I was doing. We got all of them. Nice. I keep taking a picture of that scene, even though I'm taking, like, eight pictures of it already. I just really like it. Come here, birdie. Bird? 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 Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Snack for Buddy! I love to have dessert and sweet treats for all of my nutritious meals. What's up, little buddy? Pet the bird. Pet the bird. Pet the bird. This person just watching us play with our bird. Do you have a problem, Sheikah the Poet? Oh, hello. Later. Oh, hello, Holly. You're officially a hunter now? Congratulations. Your physical aptitude was always superior to your intellect. Hunting suits you well, I think. I'm sorry? You wanna... You wanna say that to my face again? Huh. I'm going to keep making poetry, putting my emotions into words just as I've always done. Kamura Hunter, before your weapon unsheaths, grill your steak well done. Mm -hmm. A poem dedicated to you. Lovely, isn't it? A cinch of a poet of my caliber. My prodigious ability scares me sometimes. More so than the rampage, to be honest. Be careful out there. So, like... Are you just jealous of me and projecting, or are you just an asshole? Happy day to you. She's a crush on you, the mean little boy was foreshadowing. <laughs> I can't... It all makes sense now. I've been too harsh on this, like small child who has clearly just been picking up, oh, if you like someone, you should be mean to them, from this fucking poet. <laughs> I'm about to have words with this woman. Elder Fugin was giving some buddies an earful earlier. They must have been the ones that ran off to the shrine ruins. Missing buddies found an angry demon Fugin, ears down and tails tucked. Put my little poetic spin on the situation. But Elder Fugin was just pretending to be angry, you know, to teach them a lesson. Still, some of the villagers were surprised by how intense he was. Angry Demon describes him well. Alright, let's go. Village tradition of being a jerk to the ones you love. <laughs> no, they are haikus. They follow the 575. A shallow forest stream coursing through the night. Amid the sound of water, a beast prepares to fight. Those who go in unprepared will bow before its might. Bathing in the thorns it waits, using water as its shield. Yellow collar standing proud, its fang shall never yield. Main contender, Royal Lutroth. So you know that one post that's like, ah, oh, capybara, it's a dog made of coconut. Ah, Royal Lutroth, it's a dog made of sponge. Goodies for me! Probably should have waited to eat that steak until, uh, uh, I had, like, gotten 
the stamina of birds, but eh, whatever. It's a free stamina uh, stake, so not so much a big deal. I ain't paying nothing for it. My. Uh, let's. There we go. Sure, I'll take an antidobra. I don't know if it'll be useful here, but I'll take it. Nice. I like that you can just do flip tricks in this game. It's fun. I literally love flip tricks. Hey, Doomer Skeletor with the bits. Howdy, Polly. Can you befriend the monsters in this game? I want monster friends smile. Uh, you can befriend cats and dogs. And bugs and birds. But not so much the big ones in this one, unfortunately. Thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. Also, I just remembered... This is gonna be good! I wanted to capture... Monsters. So... We're going in the tent! Items from your field pouch were sent to your item box. Supply items will remain in your field pouch. Let's... Make... Some fucking traps. And... Trank bombs. I'm gonna have to send out, like, some animals to get parish rooms soon. Which means I should probably get that second submarine. Who's this new puppy? This is Ricketts. Uh... Which is my friend Peregrine's rat, and they told me that rats are just small dogs, and I believe anything they say, so... Uh, let's... I don't need these poison stuffs anymore. So let's get... A trap, a trap, and... Trank bombs! There we go. Now... Let's a hunt. Something cool that I like in this game is in past games, um, if you wanted to like have a better idea of like when a monster could be captured, there were like specific skills you would have to like slot into your armor that would like tell you uh, when a monster's tired, when it's like on the brink of death, when it's ready to be captured. Now the game just tells you like your owl is just smart enough to know, so you don't have to waste skills skill points on it. I kind of like that actually. Means you can focus on other, like, utility skills. What's up here? Oh, Jewel Lily. Nice. <laughs> Flame nerd. And that's your go. I'll take that. A healing. Funny golden bug. Uh, let's put dog on fast... Button. Sure, I'll take another antidobra. Uh, nice bird. Nice bird. Going very much the wrong way, but... Lantern bug! What's that do again? I don't remember. Uh, this is not an active one I can use, so it's probably one of the passive ones. Okay. I'll just keep trank bombs on here for now. Strap trap. Can I get down to here from this way? I can. Alright. Does the series have a continuous narrative slash world, or is each game a different thing? Each game is a different thing. There's like a shared world in that sometimes they reference, like, uh, the other villages and the cultures and stuff, but there's not really any sort of like, oh, uh, you'll need to, like, watch uh, a lore summary video, because all of the lore is very much just, like, stuff you read in art books and item descriptions. And, like, there's some cool stuff there, but it's very much not, like, uh, the, the, the forefront and focus of the game. Oh, shit. Whoops. Well, it's right here anyways, so... Wait! Oh my god, hang on! Is this how we're starting out? With a fucking with a fucking fight? Let's go for a ride. Uh, 
can poison you. Poison you and hip check you. Now let's go for the Punisher. Alright! That's a cool start to a fight. I'm into it. Yeah! Poison he ass. Howdy, motherfucker, it's me. Approach. Let's try and do some, uh, some wire bug attacks on this guy so that we can get a mount soon. There we go, got him in the head with that. I fucking flubbed that completely. Oh, that feels bad. Oh, that feels bad! I'm still bad at, like, gauging out the range on that. Also, this guy loves to roll around and hurt you like that. Like that. Ow. Also likes to back up very slightly, uh, which makes me personally mad. <laughs> he likes to back up and move out of the way very slightly, which makes me miss all my attacks and scream. <laughs> As evidenced by this. Big wiggly motherfucker. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Oh, okay, that was a big flail around with the type attack. Oh, right, the big attack. The one where your hunter goes, oh shit, look out. Okay, that one. That one's just my fault. Come on, come on, come on, don't you do it! <laughs> Ow. Mean to me. I literally just want to pick up goodies on the floor. Oh, you're tired? Oh, you're tired and sleepy? You get back here, you son of a gun! What the? What was that? Cloth fly? Oh, cloth fly. I thought it said clone fly. I was like, what's a clone fly? It's nothing. It doesn't exist. My. Uh, get some blast newt. Get a bug. And these are the small Ludroth that, that follow it around and stuff. They're like dogs, but smaller. Simple prism. Slightly clattered crystal, formerly small bones. Yeah, I'll take a stat boost. What do I look like? Oh, I should sharpen. Right, right, sharpening. The thing that lets me continue using my weapon. Like that the main deflates when it's tired. Yeah, it's neat. It's a neat touch. Lots of monsters have good touches like that. Come on, come on! Yeah! Cool as hell! And we got the stun off! Nice, nice, nice.
That felt cool. Okay, now I need to sharpen. But first I'm gonna get greedy. Do I know what the bar above my health and below my name does? No. I noticed it sometimes. It's gone now! I don't know why it was there? Or what it indicated? And I've been wondering that myself! Ow. Uh, yes, Insect Glaive is in this. All previous weapon types are back, except for, uh, in Generations, you could play as the cats. Uh, that's not in this one, unfortunately. Which I met! I should just ride my fucking dog and do this. Come on. What am I doing? If I've got the dog ability, I might as well use the dog ability. There we go. Also, this is the Hunting Horn. It's my favorite weapon in the whole series. And they gave it a big rework in this one, and now it's even fucking cooler, in my opinion. Okay, I really want to mount on you, so... Come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, it's also ready to capture, so let's, uh... Here's what we'll do, we'll ride you into a wall... And then we'll get our traps out on ya, so... Launch ya. Pitfall on ya. Get it. There we go. Okay. It's Got him. Awesome. <laughs> go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> How do you do your Dr. Coober voice? I don't really know what to tell you. I just kind of do it with my voice. <laughs> I am probably the wrong person to ask if you want, like, coaching on voice stuff. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> if I knew what to tell you, I promise I would. <laughs> unfortunately, I do not. And that's Royal Ludroth. It's a funny dog made of sponge. <sighs> I've finally finished my coffee. Holly! An urgent report just came in. Looks like the rampage is getting close to the shrine ruins. Anyone halfway decent with a weapon will help me guard the area surrounding the stronghold. But we can't hold them all off. I'm gonna need you to hunt down anything that breaks through. Yeah. We don't just do this to save our butts, but for the future of Kimura! You got that? Take on urgent quest from Hinoa, drive back the Calamity, and protect that future! Oh. Alright, Holly. Let's show that pack of fiends what Kimura's really made of! <laughs> what is the Rampage? Uh, in narrative terms, the Rampage is an event where, like, a huge horde of monsters, for reasons unknown, just, like, charges towards Kimura Village and, like, attacks anyone and anything in sight. Uh, in terms of what it means gameplay-wise, stay tuned and find out. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's try it. Uh, it's just the steel looks. Okay. It's here. How about this weather? Hmm? It's finally here. We have an urgent quest to stop the rampage. I've been enlisted as a defender. I can't wait. Don't get all jealous if I do a better job than you, okay? Are you up for it? Make sure to check the special quest as well. Oh, I'm goddamn up for it. Rampage quests involve defending Kimura from waves of monsters. You will repel monsters primarily using hunting and hunt hunting hunting installations to defend the stronghold. Defend until the last wave has been repelled or the final major threat has been slain in order to complete the main objective. All right. Which quest would you like? The Rampage Approaches. We gotta fight off a bear and then a Ragi. Alright, Squirt, it won't be long before the Rampage reaches the stronghold. Our defenders will do their best to hold them off, but if anything breaches their line, you're hunting it. Got it? Now let's get to it. It's time. Don't forget to eat. 
So I know a bit about the Rampage just from like what I've seen uh, other folks show off of it, and uh, I think it's neat. Uh, I think it's a neat sort of twist on the formula, so I'm excited to like actually play it myself. keep these just in case I get like a poison thing. There is going to be a Roggy there, so I suppose that is a poison thing. Hey, Time for a meal. Time. Let's eat meal. Yeah, Can I find anything online referencing the red bar, so I guess it is still just a Monster Hunter prank? If I have to guess, I think it has something to do with like, uh, the one skill I have, um, that's not going to be any use, there's no good, there's no gathering points here. Uh, sharpening, uh, uh, defender, and ball runner. It might have to do with this one hunting horn spell. Spell? Song I have. Uh, that's like the sonic shield. Maybe. It's probably got something to do with effect duration, yeah. That's my guess. Because sometimes it goes away and sometimes it's there. Oh, if you touch a lantern bug, you get a bit of extra health that can't be recovered and goes away before the green health. Oh. I was getting those! on that map, so it's probably that. <laughs> it was probably that. Kitties be eaten. Hey, a witty. Hope you're having a good day today. It's time to pet the bird. By which I mean first we feed the bird. Boop, 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 boop. Hi, buddy. I love you. It's a good bird. I pet you. Hello, buddy. I truly love to see a bird. Goodbye. <gasps> Our bird is perching on the bench. I heard you became an official hunter of Kimura. I started studying under Master Itsushi so I can become a hunter myself. I'm, like, training real hard. Hey, since you've been training under Master Itsushi longer than me, is it okay if I call you Chief? That sounds cool, right? Back to training. Hey, Chief. Finally, the Rampage is here. I'd love to beat the Stronghold with everyone else, but I got told I'm too young to fight. Ugh, I hate being a kid. I want to be a hunter so I can help protect the village, too. Rooting for you. It's more to life than just being a hunter, kid. What do you gotta say? Yes. The rampage is coming, huh? I ain't all that worried. Everyone's prepared for it and all. Yep. Although, as it draws near, the deliveries are practically doubling. I need some new shoes if this keeps up. Uh huh. Hey, speaking of cargo, the other day I got a huge package in from Pops. It's full of good luck charms. Yep. He's not even here and he's more worried than I am about this whole mess. Eh, what can I say? He's a worrier. Uh -huh. You think you think that was localized from Senpai? Uh, probably. That's cute, yeah. Still, what's he thinking, stuffing all these charms in this big old box? It does kind of make me nervous. But hey, I got enough charms to ward off this rampage and every future rampage till the end of time. <laughs> I've never actually been down here yet. There's like an entire down here portion. What the hell? Hoba... Hobashira the Sailor. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, Holly. I see you've become a hunter. Congratulations to you. Mm -hmm. Rampage is causing a bit of a mess, but don't worry about us. We'll do what we can to keep trade going. Speaking of, looks like a ship's coming in. I better go take, take inventory. Good to see you. If the Rampage gets any worse, who knows what'll happen. I mean, we're still getting shipments in right now, but our trade route could be cut off at any time. Sure. We should prepare for the worst. The charms are 21 savage necklaces? Vile. That's not gonna protect no one. 
Oh my god, this is little shrine that's cute. Very cute. Little fish on a plate too. Let's go. It's time for the rampage. The rampage is here. But there's nothing to fear. We have our trusty fortress, and its defense is top tier. <laughs> Let's do this! Huge rainbow bird? Huge rainbow bird? Huge rainbow bird? Huge rainbow bird? Does that just give you like a full buff for everything? I was wondering when you'd show up, Ace. It's finally time to face the rampage. I heard from Elder Fugan that your task is to repel any monster that's made it into the stronghold. Eh, since this is your first rampage, there's probably a lot you don't know, so I'll fill you in on how things work here. This area serves the same purpose as the main camps do out in the field. If you get thrashed real bad, you'll wind up back here, but it's fine as long as the stronghold's okay. You can keep retrying. Infinite lives from the sound of it, I guess. Sure thing. You can swap out your gear and weapons and sort out your items through here. <laughs> If you want to bail on your current loadout, you're free to switch up your gear inside. The stronghold's just beyond that exit here. Uh -huh. Oh, and for the bigger rampage, you'll need to defend more of the stronghold, so more exits will be available. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head off to the stronghold. Meet me there when you're ready. The Rampage. Rampage quests involve defending Kimura from waves of monsters. You will repel monsters primarily using hunting installations to defend the stronghold. Defend until the last wave has been repelled, or the final major threat has been slain, in order to complete the main objective. Let's do this! Next horde incoming! Prism Spear Bird! Look this way, come on, look this way! Yeah! Girl, fuck him up. Infinite time too. Oh, my favorite pupil. Good to go, Ace. Welcome to the stronghold. The village, the villagers all built this place to defend against the rampage. <laughs> the waves of monsters that attack during rampages, we call them hordes, will come in from that direction. <laughs> the hordes will try to destroy the stronghold by breaking through the gates. These gates are what's keeping the monsters out of Kimura. And keeping the monsters off the gates and out of Kimura is why we're here. We fight off the hordes of monsters using machinery developed specifically for this situation, called hunting installations. Right. Looks like we got plenty of prep time. Come with me. I'll explain how to use them. Rampage Hordes. Groups of attacking monsters in the rampage are called hordes. A horde is made up of many lesser monsters and a major threat that leads them. A horde ends once time is up or when all monsters have been repelled. There can be up to three hordes. The exact number is indicated by notification in the start menu and in the quest details. Gates! At the end of each area is a gate blocking the entrance to the next area. It loses durability as it is attacked until it is destroyed. If the gate in the final area is destroyed, you'll fail the quest. The statue of the stronghold and gates are represented by icons on the minimap. Sorry, status, not statue. Whee. Firebug, please. All right, what's up? If it isn't Kimura's brightest flame. All right. First, let's ready a ballista, one of many hunting installations. Select a ballista to be used on this installation platform, and the village defenders below will set it up. Give it a shot. Hunting installations can be set up on installation platforms. Approach and press A to make your selection. If an installation is destroyed by monsters, the platform will be out of commission for a bit, but give it time and it will be ready for use again. Setting up hunting installations. 
During the rampage, you can set up hunting installations on platforms before the hordes arrive. To set up an installation, press A near an installation platform and select an installation card. Use left and right to select a card. Press L or R to select the type of card. Press A to set up the installation and hold A near the installation to remove. There is a limit to the number of hunting installations that can be set up in an area. It is possible to set up more, but that would replace older equipment and currently unused by the hunter. Hold A near an installation to remove it. Put down some artillery! Okay, bud. Uh, I'll put one here. Right. No, nope, it's talking to you. Uh... Oh, I can't do this one, I guess. I have to do this one? Okay. Uh, we can only set up the ballistic for now. Hunters can mount ballistae and attack monsters with them. I'll tell you more about using ballistae later. Let's move on. All right. How about you set up the next hunting installation? Okay. Put down some artillery. Set up a defender ballista here. All right. So, the main conceit of this is it's like a tower defense mode. You have like towers you can control, and you have like automatically controlled ones that you can set up as well. So like, for Don't instance, let me down. this is a defender one which allows villagers to attack along with you. Which is real cool. Listen up! Everyone in the village is here to help you out. One hunter can only manage so many installations. So let's let a villager take over and set up the next one. Put down some artillery! How about Yeah, let's set up a bamboo bomb here. Yeah. This should do the trick. Excellent! Bamboo bombs will detonate once monsters get close enough. Oh, this is cool looking too. Listen up! Set them up in front of a horde to stop them in their tracks. Let's take a picture of it. I mean, I guess we can. Hunting installations are devices created in Kimura to resist the rampage. Manned type requires a mounted hunter to fire. Auto type activates automatically in certain cases and limited supply types. Only a certain number of these can be set up. Heavy duty hunting installations called Dragonators and Splitting Wyvern Shots are also positioned in each area. These installations are unlocked based on your stronghold level. Details on each installation can be viewed in Hunter Info from the start menu. just looks cool. Alright. Explain the details of ballista usage. Sure, Come sure, here. sure. Hey, bud. Let's do this. Okay, go to the ballista you set up and press A to mount it. Listen up. So now you got a mounted turret. Installations that fire quickly at foes. A press A or ZR to shoot a ballista shot. Look at this. I can shoot at him, but it doesn't hurt him. Displayed number indicates the amount of shots Listen remaining. Up. After a certain time, it'll auto-reload when you're out of ammo. Show me your moves. Next up, we've got the Crag Shot. Press X to fire. Listen up. Crag Shot is a special ammo that can stun monsters. You can do it. You gotta aim for their head, though. Oh, I'm good at that. Give it a try. Try firing off a retreat shot by pressing Y. Listen up. Land the hit. There's a good chance you'll knock back the monster. You can do it! The horn does kind of cover the crosshair, yeah. Crag and retreat shots are strong, but you gotta time them. Give it a try. Now try guarding by pressing R. Oh, well, it's like bracing for impact with the wire bug. That's Listen cute. Up. Just as you're about to be hit by a monster, quickly guard. Hold on tight! Doing so will reduce damage and prevent knockback. Great! And that's it. You're now a Ballista Pro. Good job! That's enough. Go ahead and dismount by pressing B. They're coming! The rampage is approaching. Alright. Set up that auto gun. You uh, can do it! Set up. Another let's one here. And let's also set up a manual one over here, just to be. Uh, Don't look at that. Okay. That's a stalker type. Careful. They seek out hunters, so watch your back. Howdy, motherfucker. Stunned him. Ha ha! Get the hell out of here. Oh, I missed that. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Fire off the shots for a reload. Alright, repelled our first monster. Great find. A targeter type. 
keep their distance and use long ranged attacks. Oh, got knocked off that one. Yeah, you get out of here. Cannon unlocked! Huh, alright, let's. Excellent! Set up a cannon. Let's do it. Look at that! Gate crasher type! Defend the gate! Focus on the gates, leave them alone, and we're toast. Cannon piercing and cannon thunder ammo! Interesting. Yo, it's a big guy that we haven't actually fought normal-wise yet. Got him. Bye! Well done. Alright, gates are still intact. Upgrading Stronghold levels unlocks new hunting installations to aid your defense. Defending against the Rampage in the following ways can net experience points counted towards the Stronghold's level. Defeating monsters, completing sub-assignments, afflicting monsters with statuses and blights. Oh. The Stronghold level increased. Sure did. My cat is just sending out tops. New installations and your shot's firepower has increased. Okay, so the cannon seems to always inflict stun ammo. Or stun damage. Listen up. Got another level up. Oh, that's one gate down. Uh oh. Gonna just set up some more stuff down there. Oh, right, a fly in. Listen up! Uh, let's get up here so we can shoot at this guy. You son of a gun! Okay, that's one down. Where is our fly in them? Hey! Alright, damn you fucking go. All right, you're out of here. Come on, try and hit me, you will. Okay. I'm gonna have to set up some other auto guns, I guess. Okay, so let's... This one's an auto gun as well, okay. Bamboo bombs back up. Birds will always be led by a major threat monster. Major threats are much larger and stronger than regular monsters, however, defeating them rewards you plentiful experience points for your stronghold, only accomplished by slaying the major threat leading the final horde. Okay. Arzeros has appeared! They're coming! Let's set this one up as uh, an auto gun. Let's see. Let's go! Uh, quickly, quickly. Do we have an auto cannon? Yes, we do. Fuck yeah, we do. Oh, you so and so. Counter signal! <laughs> I know what this means. If a counter signal is deployed, it will boost Hunter's morale, greatly increasing their attack power. Counter signals are activated during the rampage or by sounding a counter gong. The effects of a counter signal depend on the level of your stronghold. This is the part of the fight where you go hog wild. Government mandated go hog wild moment. Get back here. And you get a massive damage boost. <laughs> get the hell out of here. Drove off that major threat with ease! Listen up! Oh, what's this? Assume defensive position! Uh let's make I put down a bomb! Some Come bombs. Uh... 
Oh, cool. There's a fucking there's a dragonator there. I just realized. Uh, and let's set up another one near the gates here, and then we can just shoot let's it down. Let's make some fireworks. Okay, where are you on the map? You're over here. Let's make some fireworks. What's up? I've been waiting for you. Remember how the stronghold level increased before? Sure thing. As the stronghold levels up, you'll be able to use more powerful installations like the Dragonator. You can repel monsters or inflict stun and other status effects to increase the stronghold level too. Press A near this lever to ready the Dragonator, then press A again to activate it. Yeah. Once it's activated, a gigantic spear will thrust straight out. Time your attack so that monsters are directly in front of it for maximum impact. The Dragonator is a gnarly weapon, but it takes time before you can fire it again. If you don't want to wait, you can use a power kiln to speed up the process. <laughs> they can be used to hasten repair times for destroyed installations too. Make sure your arsenal's fixed before a horde comes. All right, give him a warm welcome. How to do this? How to do this? Oh, oh, huh? Sound like Elder Fugan. Oh. Where'd you go? There you are. Hanging in there. Occasionally, a brave warrior of Kimura will come out to thrash during a rampage. Ah. Looks like Elder Fugans showed up this time. Go ahead and call him from this installation platform. Oh, and hold down A over any setup hunting installations to dismantle them. Warriors of Kamura are powerful hunting installations that summon your comrades to come to the stronghold's aid. Their effects differ for each villager. Some may attack monsters directly, while others may boost the abilities of other installations. The warrior of Kamura can only be summoned once per quest, making their timing crucial. The installation cards used to call the warriors will be added at the start or during a horde's onslaught. Let's put the bamboo bombs away for now. And... Fugen the Elder. Fugen will swing his sword with a battle cry, cutting down nearby monsters. Or dragon bait. I think we're going for Fugen. Let's do it. They're coming! Hey, don't worry about it. Alright. Let's watch the old man go you hog wild. Oh, no, I don't want to remove Elemton. There we go. Two X Ballista shot now. Assume defensive position. Oh, right, more defenses. Good call, good call, good call. Uh, let's put... Uh, some don't dragon bait down. here. And put uh, an auto gun here. Uh, River and Fire Artillery. That sounds fun. Defend the gate! And we'll make you into another artillery as well. Go and get him, old man. All right, let's get that bomb back out. Uh, Listen up. Oops, that's wrong. Uh, go away. That's it. I wanted. Oh god! Oh god! Come on, bomb! There we go. Okay. My buddy's the best. Back up. I wanted Dragonator. Got him! Alright, now we need to go back to... The Ballista. So okay, got him. Good, 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 good. Machine cannon? Machine kit! Is there a bastard over here? No, I was seeing things. Okay. Got Uh, 
Looks like the boys out front repelled, repelled this bird, which is good. Let's get uh, some more barrel bombs. I think we found their leader. Uh, set this up here. They're coming. Wait till the counter signal's fired. Listen up. Defend the gate. It's time. All right, Dragonator, Dragonator. Come on, let me up. Oh, it's, I still can't use it yet. Fuck. Two at once. That's not a fair fight for them. Get over here. Oh, this mode is fun. Good job. Oh, this mode is fun. I like this game mode. <laughs> oh, we should have set up some other guns here, but oh well. I guess I didn't really need them, now did I? Oh man. Doing these in multiplayer is going to be fun. Surprised it lets you carve? Yeah, it looks like the thing is it lets you carve whatever the like the raid leader is right at the end, which is cool. Cool smoke clad right at the end. Just for the hell of it. They came to help. But they're kids, come on. Looks like things have calmed down a bit. Uh, uh, Elder Fugen wants us to go back to camp. Thing was gonna bat me out of the goddamn sky. That monster is known as Magnum Malo. It appears alongside the rampage and feeds on the Horde. It eats them? Fifty years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. So that could happen again? What? That's terrible! How can we fight against that? Don't worry, Yamoki. 
This time around, we have a skilled hunter by our side. That's me. I want you to slay Magnamala for us. Okay. We need you to protect Kamura Village. I want to help fight. I'm coming with you. No, you're like eight. Me too. You too. You're also eight. How much help I can be, though. That's the spirit. However, this is something that needs to be handled by a hunter. Exactly! Kamura is more than steel and hunters. The two of you should focus on the things you do best. Oh. The things we do best? I like that a lot, actually. You two have to be strong every day. That way, the answer will come to you before long. <laughs> right. Let's head back to the village. We've all got to do our part to take care of ourselves. There is more to the fight than the fighting itself. I'm very glad that the game about fighting giant dinosaurs is, like, saying that. <laughs> Completion rank B. Huh. Uh, defend the final gate. Complete with three feints or less. Slay the final major threat and level up the stronghold to complete. Neat. I probably could have done that better then. I guess I could have set up more, like, traps and stuff. Curse to you how similar Magnamalo is to Nergigante, both feed on other powerful monsters, except Nergi's more interested in elders. I imagine if it's probably going to be, like, or I wonder if it's going to be something sort of like, uh, what, uh, what, what World did, where the whole thing is like, oh, Magnamalo's, like, the big monster that's, like, coming to, like, harangue us, then it turns out the big twist is like, well, something else is clearly, like, riling up and causing the rampages, and Magnamalo is just trying to, like, you know, put a stop to it. Unfortunately, it, it just, like, it got in the way of, like, the people living in the village sort of thing. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Use it to ramp up equipment. Who's ramping up? I guess we'll see. It's a new mechanic. That's a new noun. Magnamalo seems like an opportunistic predator. Uh-huh, sure is. Holly! Good work in there. Thanks to your efforts, Kimura has emerged from this relatively unscathed. Mm. Well, things are gonna get real hairy now that we got Magnamalo on our hands. Like I was telling you back at the Stronghold, that fiend showed its ugly face during the rampage 50 years back. Old Ham just about lost his neck trying to stop it from taking out the village. Old Ham? What? What is Old Ham? Huh? <laughs> and now it's reared its ugly head again. <laughs> old Ham. <laughs> oh, it's probably Hamon. Yeah. Now that I think about it. The safety of Kimura is in your hands. Hunt down that fiend and finish it for good. We're still not sure what's behind this dang rampage, but if we find something out, you'll be the first to know. Cool. Somebody wants to talk to you. Several people want to talk to me. Hi. Holly, can I give you something? practice real hard to say the name right. It's a garb of glad tidings. You put it on your cohoot and it brings you good luck. Whoa. And on top of that, I wish lots and lots of extra glad tidings and do it for you. I really hope they come true and you get a whole bunch of good luck because of it. Alright. We've got bird outfits. It's time to pet the bird. And then everything looks good on you. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god, that's adorable. 
I'm not going to change the colors. I quite like these, actually. Although, I think I'm for more of a purple. It still looks pretty pink. Uh, I'll just keep his default. I quite like that. Let's make this purple. Uh, doesn't look as good as the green. Let's keep it like that, then. Sup, little buddy? Snack for buddy! Some shrimps and treats for buddy! Love you, little guy. Love you, little guy. Oh, I love you, little guy. Let's see if anyone else has got any goodies for us. Anything down here? You cannot use the wire bug while carrying your buddy around. You don't want to startle them. Hello, Fishersman. Magnamalo. I think that's the same monster from 50 years ago that Pops goes on and on about. He says Master Hamon was a big player in the fight against it back then. Pops tells the story whenever he gets boozed up, except each time he tells it, it gets more and more absurd. Last time I heard it, it went that he was the one who drove it off. Come on, it was Master Hamon, you loon. His drunk stories are about half, no, a quarter true, maybe. Man, Pops better not be drinking and telling weird stories to strangers. Dang, now I'm worried about him. Also, look, our owl's perching down here. Hey, buddy. I want to take a picture. I gotta get farther away. Buddy. Bird. Good to see you. The rampage is beginning to affect our logistics. Well, it's only ships coming in later right now, but still. I figured we did everything we could to prevent this from happening, but I guess it simply wasn't enough. See you. Dang. It's going down. This is probably like a doghouse now that I think about it. Go to the hub preparia. Hey, get a load of this! I got everything you need. I have some big news for you. Huh. Master Hamon's been hard at work developing a new form of weapon upgrade. It's called Ramping Up. It uses special materials from the rampage to empower weapons way beyond any normal upgrade. If you can get your hands on one of these upgrades, it's sure to give you an edge. Try it. I know you want to. Soon. Huh. Interesting. Uh let's talk to you. Other items, buddy bargaining, we've already got that skill on, so let's just take that item with us. Uh, nothing new here, nothing new here, nothing I want from here. Buddy Dojo, still one round of training. Meosanaries, I'm almost done. Oh, Meosanaries are done! Send out more buddies. Uh, I would like to switch Lola out for a different cat, so I'm gonna do that. You can go. Uh, actually, let's not do that yet then. Uh, let's go to the buddy board. Uh, select buddies. I would like to go with Lana. So let's swap. Uh, Equipment. You can have this and this. 
and this, and you, and this, and this, and this. All right. Now let's uh, go to skills. Let's equip nothing yet. You can't equip anything yet. Okay. Well, you'll get some more stuff soon, so that's cool. Nice. Hey, yeah, alright. Go back to the steelworks. Important matter to discuss. Hey. Uh, Holly. There's something I should tell you about. Hey. I've devised a special new technique to upgrade weapons in order to further better our chances against the rampage. I call it ramping up. It uses materials from the rampage to enhance weapons far more than any normal weapon means would be capable. Hmm. When you've collected the necessary materials, bring them here and I'll show you. See you later. Okay, so this is like, uh, the, the sort of, like, other enhancement thing that seems to happen in every, uh, Monster Hunter game in some form. Materials available exclusively from Rampage rewards can be used to grant designated Rampage skills for each weapon type. Select the weapon you would like to upgrade with a Rampage skill with the active Rampage, activate Rampage skill option at the smithy. Once a Rampage skill is set, uh, it is equipped to the weapon's rampage slot. It cannot be freely removed, but most can be overwritten by another rampage skill or removed through a rollback. If you would like to try a new rampage skill, simply try setting another rampage skill. If you overwrite a rampage skill, it's possible to restore the weapon's last equipped rampage skill. Select the rampage skill with the yellow arrow icon next to it in the smithy set rampage skill option to re-equip the previously set rampage skill. I would like it a lot if the NPCs weren't talking when I was reading, like, these dialogue boxes. Attack boost, affinity boost, or defense boost. And I guess this is like, uh, like an all-the-time boost and not just like, uh, not just during a rampage sort of thing. Interesting. Let's put the affinity boost on this. Uh, let me put, um, increases damage to small monsters? Interesting. Uh, hmm. Oh, does not equip that yet. Interesting. It seems to be all the time, but you know, Monster Hunter, nothing is clear. Yeah, the 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 naming, like the nomenclature of it being rampage scale, is what trips me up a little bit. It's like, is this only during a rampage, or is this because it's made out of rampage materials, sort of thing? It seems to be just all the time, though. So that's neat. That's neat. Slide. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, Holly. You're gonna have your hands full juggling Magnamalo and the Rampage. But with Kimura Village united, we can do anything. There is always a dawn, even after the darkest night. As of right now, we don't have any information on Magnamalo's location. We should tread carefully. Uh -huh. There are still some three-star quests to take care of. How about you knock those out in the meantime? How about this weather, hmm? The Rampage changes every time you set out on a quest. This includes standard quests. Rewards obtained from the Rampage depend on the difficulty denoted on the quest board and monsters encountered. Select quests allow you according to your skill level and desired materials. During multiplayer, quests can also be accepted at the quest counter. Quests that can be accepted at the quest counter can also differ by player. Players can join Rampage quests accepted by another player as long as the requirements for joining are met. Okay, so it's like, everyone's got a random selection of Rampage quests, and as long as you, like, meet the level requirement, you can join up for them, sort of thing. Neat. We've we got, uh... Great Zuchi. Uh... Defend the final gate. Defenders repel a monster, inflict elemental blight, gather drop materials, repel using ballista, and set up hunting installations are our sub assignments. Interesting. We can try that out some other time. Uh, let's do some village quests. Here's the quest list. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's do a Kulu Yaku. Funny bird. Careful out there. Dark Souls level of nomenclature. I'd, I'd, I'd argue that, uh... Well, actually, no. They both can be kind of obtuse. Uh, the issue is that, like, Dark Souls tells you nothing, and then Monster Hunter gives you, like, a block of text that tells you nothing. 
<laughs> okay, uh, let's go with that. Eat a meal. They already fed my bird, so I just need a dinner. Let's go with uh, the harvester shirt. I'll probably be getting some materials on the way. Um, buddy trainer. And sure, what if birds come to me more? Did Kulu Yaku always stealing my wyvern eggs? I've tried and tried to make my way through the sandy plains, but they get the jump on me every single time. This rude son of a bitch stealing my fucking eggs. I need those. A lifeless stretch of land. Nothing but dust and sand. Barren and forlorn, lifeless and storm-torn. In the shadows, monsters thresh, mad with lust for blood and flesh. And eggs. A moment of peace, soon to be disturbed. A threat approaches, its hunger uncurbed. It rakes up its lunch, chows down without grace. But inside this nest, for thieves there's no choice. It needs to escape, or get egg on its face. Omnivore Outlaw, Kulu Yaku. Man, all the other ones are like, like, fucking like ghost stories or legends about like, how like horrible and terrifying these monsters are. And the Kuliaku is just like, man, this fucking bird. What's his deal? He's a dumb asshole. Can't believe the nerve of this guy. He's gonna get fucking egg all over the place. What the fuck, man? This guy sucks so much. <laughs> Kulu Yaku cannot catch a fucking break, and I'm here for it. What's down there? Cool little pools. What's that flying around? Huh. Oh, it's like leaves or something. Okay. I thought it was a secret faraway bird. My. Also, a couple people in chat were pointing it out, but it, it is neat how, like, so much of this game is, like, uh... Nods and references to uh, the third gen of Monster Hunter. I know that the dev team like has a real soft spot for that generation, so it's cool to see. I hopped in on fourth generation, so all this is well, pretty much all this is new to me, like map wise. Some of the monsters has been returning though. Give me the rock lizard. Hey, it's Macklemore or gladly we'll take that. Mud. Hey, darling Demon Eclipse with the bits! Basically, instead of a great legend, they told us a funny story about the Ice Age squirrel, except he's a bird. <laughs> and I think that's beautiful. Basically! <laughs> Thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. Notebook! Out in the field, you can find relic records that contain a series of old messages. These records contain kernels of history about the region and can be viewed on your notebook from the Hunter's Notes. Huh. Kagero the merchant is seemingly also interested in these messages. Try talking to him if you come across one. 
This is new. An old message holds historical value and is thus sought by Kagero. Add it to your notebook. Uh. Holy shit. 60 of these things? Despite his old age, he persisted in heaving his aching muscles and ragged bones forward, one step after another. Also, you can read up on the, the large monsters and stuff. It shows, you know, their ecology, their physiology, ailments, and like what materials you can get from them. Also, small monsters and endemic life, too. Prism Spirit Bird. Cool, cool, cool. We'll have to go through that uh, in more detail sometime. I know how y'all feel about me reading stuff, so... <laughs> Expect that someday. Probably once I've unlocked most, if not all of it. This is the best Hunter's Notebook to date? Hell yeah! The Hunter's Notebook in previous games was... I feel like not super useful, uh, but like in World it had some more info in it and stuff and- Oh! There you are! There you are! You sick son of a bitch bird! Your life ends two minutes from now. Or maybe like five to ten minutes from now. You try to hit me with a rock, but it doesn't. Oh, it's a pot. Never mind. You tried to hit me with a pot. Oh, right. I need to, to get that. With some fine crafting, the milky white colors of these scales can be improved. They added more flavor text to, like... Uh, all the items compared to worlds, uh, which basically didn't have any on the items, uh, compared to past games, which had a ton like that, so I'm really happy they brought that back. Let's get, uh, this wire bug, so we have three. Whew, barely dodged that. That felt cool. Yeah, yeah! You're done for. Ooh, the fight music here, though! This goes off! Ride my dog, sharpen! Oh my god, when the vocals come in! Damn. I was just about to say, I don't think I've been hit like a single time by this bird. Yeah, break that rock. None of that in my house. Ooh, that's got a big range on it than I thought. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! Got him! Hey, Dragon Lupin! The 10 month Risa! No rock here! None of that! There is a healing plant on the ground. I guess my cat did that. Neat. Oh, right, because I have a healing cat. Oh, that's actually quite a lot of healing. Uh oh. As long as you were getting hit a ton, at least. Nice! After it. Okay, bye! No. Let's this sharpen. I'm giving this bird the goddamn business. Up here, I suppose. Um, 
want to run up a cliff. Then uh, get a dog ready. Puppy Daisy. Puppy Riding. Oh, I went the completely wrong way, but I guess I can sweep back around this always and get another wire bug. Kitty, who's gonna try and rob me blind, but I won't let it happen. Do some mining, because I do need to get some more Macolite ore at some point soon. Need that for a bunch of upgrades, so. Should probably try and do some gathering at some point. Maybe I'll do that off stream or something. Oh, look, there's a bear off here, too! Turf war, turf war, turf war! Alright. Missed completely. Oh well. Okay, that's I've been goofing on this guy enough. I suppose I can live with missing a little bit. And look, he's already ready to capture. Stand in this. Got him! We're going home! Go to bed, egg idiot. <laughs> All right. Nice! Whirlwind Assault and Health Up S Buddy Skill. Nice! This is going to be good. Attempts to ride bird into tree. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I did just do that, didn't I? <laughs> Egg idiot learns a valuable lesson. Birdie buddy. Birdie Buddy loves to sit on top of here. What's up? Oh, hello. Sorry, I had a piece of orange in my mouth. Master Holly, that artifact you have there. I take a glimpse at it. Hmm, I see. Fascinating. Immensely fascinating indeed. This is an old message. A trace legacy of bygone eras most obscure. Hmm. Ostensibly, this record contains someone's story, yet undiscovered. That makes it an invaluable item. Mm. For the longest time, perhaps influenced by my trade, I have sought such annals to broaden my understanding of the world. If you would be so kind as to show me any others you come across, I'd gladly offer a token of thanks, small as it may be. Oh. I'd venture that these old messages are fragmented into smaller notes, which lie in places remote and unaccustomed to human activity. Oh. I wish you luck in your hunt for them, and thank you in advance. Take care. Neat. Welcome to my shop. No uh, bingo today. Anyone else got anything for us? My man's going hog wild spinning around here when no one's looking. And now that we're looking, he's embarrassed. <laughs> Let's see if the secret cat has any secrets for us that are new. The fourth dirty secret of Kimura. Kagero the merchant was in the past. A pretty stellar hunter. Kagero's origins are shrouded in meowstery, as is his heroic past as a hunter long ago. By my whiskers, wasn't that juicy? I'll update you again once you've completed an urgent quest from Hinoa. Bye! <laughs> God, that's funny. I love that that's a thing. Fucking kitty. Upgrade weapon. My hammer's ready. Kestodon shell for this, the Neopteran. Okay. We can also upgrade to the bagpipes. So that doesn't give us an attack up song, so we kind of don't want to do that yet. I'd rather get the Kimura Chorus 3. Especially with that tasty little affinity bonus we got there. Mm, yumma yumma. Yumma yumma. Mmm, tastes so good. 
Excuse me. Oh boy, oh boy, time to consult the secret information cat about the gossip of the land. Oh, there's a Lutroth horn as well. Oh my god, it's like speakers, I forgot about that. <laughs> the Droth drone. A horn made of spongy royal Lutroth parts. An amplifier blasts its song for miles. Neat. Water Blight Exploit? What does that mean? Increases damage to monsters afflicted with water. Oh! Huh. Interesting. So I guess, like, there are rampage skills that specifically want you to, like, capitalize on, uh, on specific blights. That's neat. Oh! Kulia Kuhorn! It's just. It's, it's just the bone horn, but with Kuliaku parts on it. I guess they just straight up use the models from World? That's... I mean, that makes sense, but it's, it is a little sad. It is a little sad. Defense up, stamina up, and stun negated, as opposed to environmental damage negated, defense up, and attack up. Interesting. Interesting. Tech boost, thunder boost, and thunder blade exploit. I still have this as well. Silk bind boost. Uh, damage dealt using silk bind attacks. Neat. Uh, uh, same for that one as well. Don't know what this is yet. Chaos tree. The poison fungus axe. A horn featuring poisonous mushrooms in both hunting and music. Improv is key. Gotcha. Huh. Interesting. The fungus axe is back. My hero. The Jack Black Saxaboom is here. Now get hunting. I fucking... Sorry, I'm chewing on some more oranges again, because oranges are tasty. Um, I love the fucking edit of that one Jack Black Saxaboom video, where they just added, like, the hunting horn buff effects onto the video. It's so good. <laughs> I think about it a lot. Bring another trap, bring some more of these. And also, let's put this away, put this away. Sort those. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I've been sitting for a while. I should probably get up and have a stretch. So uh, before we do some more, I'm gonna, you know, get up, have a stretch, go to the bathroom, all that stuff. I'll be back in just a few. Make sure all y'all are taking care of yourselves too, okay? Be back real soon.
what if there was a big egg? What the fuck? What would you do? How come? How y'all doing? <laughs> Having a bit of a stretch. And, um, in just a sec. I pull up uh, the details of it. Uh, a friend of mine, my buddy Red, uh, they're doing a stream later today uh, to help uh, raise uh, some money to help pay off a wrist surgery they need to get. Uh, so we're gonna be raiding them uh, once I'm done streaming today. You know, hopefully y'all are willing and able to throw some support their way. Uh, no, I'm gonna do what I can. So you know, I hope I hope y'all uh, be able to do that too. I should retweet that tweet about it so that it's also on my Twitter so people can see that they're later. So yeah, I retweeted it. The details are on uh, my Twitter now. They're gonna be playing uh, Hollow Knight. For their first time, with their left hand only. <laughs> that sounds like that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna take a drink of water. <sighs> now let's get back to it. So, uh, that said, I suppose I'm not probably not gonna be streaming again uh, after dinner, just because I think I prefer if folks were, uh, you know, look at that, looking at that and supporting my friend Red, so... There we go! That, that makes that decision for me, I suppose. <laughs> Let me just get sat back down, get ready to go again. Yeah, I hope they can pay off those bills, too. It sounds like medical expenses in the States can be terrifying. So, uh, hopefully, like, we can do what we can to, to help them out. Hunter Hunter. Let's see. No, I want these all in my hands, my pants. Uh, oh, gathering hub. What's in here? Oh, hello? Up, Ace. Yo, Ace. I see you've been experimenting with all sorts of different weapons, huh? Uh. I've been playing with the hunting horn <laughs> exclusively. <laughs> Seeing as you're working so hard, I've got some new switch skills to teach you. Find the right combination, you'll become unstoppable. Keep mixing and matching until you find what's right for you. Speed of Resonance? Later. Is that the, uh... On, let's go to... The training area. And see the details on that. Switch skill... Oh, so it's a wire bug attack. Places a wire bug cocoon on the ground. If the same hunter generates melody effects, the effect also appears around the cocoon, as does a sonic wave that damages monsters near it. Wire bug recovery gauge medium. While holding ZL, press A. Only one may be placed at a time. The first cocoon disappears when a second is activated. Should you play a self empowering melody after placing, the cocoon will emit an attack up melody as well. Uh. Huh. So it. Oh, no, wrong. I want to. Put that in. Pick up another wire box, I suppose. If there's another one on the ground somewhere. We see one, so. Okay, so you lay an egg. Uh. Damage on this. Let's see. Uh, six. Uh, six. So it's not a whole lot, but I mean, if you're getting off, 
uh, a lot of song effects. So the effect of Trio as well? Six. But also I don't know if it like makes the stack more? Hang on. Let's... Let's reset this. Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah. Hit up the Toad Versary, literally. Uh, you've been coming here to practice for ages, Meow. Like, it's a little refresher, never hurts. That's cute. Uh, trading options. Uh, let's set that two, three. Is there a way to reset things? I guess you can just, like, zone out and come back. Uh, let's do that. How did I get that switch skill? So the way it works is once you've done like enough uh, unique upgrades and like crafting for a certain weapon type, they give you your second switch skill for it. Uh, so no, we're fine with this. It's just let's test to something out. So this does seventeen. If I do self-improvement, then this does 18. If I do... Oh no, I also have attack up as well, so this does 18. Uh... Okay. Now if I do this, get that up, I get... 23? 18 still. Uh, and so it doesn't, like, make it stack even more. It's... Okay. I, I was wondering if, like, maybe this would, like, make your song effects stack more. It does not. Okay. It doesn't seem to do a lot of damage either, but I guess it's probably good for, like, uh... I don't know. I, I guess for, like, getting song effects on people that are, like, farther away or something? Maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what the use case for this would be. Or, like, why you would use this over the other one. Like, I feel like you pretty firmly just want to add, uh, or use, like, the, like, the huge of one, the, the huge boom. The, 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 the bigger blast. Helpful for adding chip damage like the insect glaive bug? I mean, yeah, but then you lose out on your, like, huge burst attack. I feel like there isn't a use case. Earth Shatter is just good. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Like, I can have that little thing that does like little bits of sixes, and like, it's decent damage if you can keep something near it, or you can just go, hey, motherfucker, Say goodbye. and throw the kunai at them, and then hit them for like a hundred plus damage. I guess the use case is, like, maybe if you're fighting something much faster that's harder to get, like, a huge hit like that on, uh... But... Even then, the big hit is cool as hell, so I want to try and land it! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's something about it I just don't get? Who knows? Who goddamn knows? I don't knows. To the Infernal Melody. Now let's see if this does more damage. Let's have some fun. I missed. Now I have to wait so patiently for it to recharge. Uh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up the math, and now I have to wait for it to come back so I can test the math again. Please don't expire. Thank you. Okay. Hey, rat baby with the tip. It expired. Fuck. Hi, Holly. I just wanted to thank you and the rest of the crew for being a safe and comforting space for me and the rest of the community. 
Hey, hell yeah! We, we, you know, it's. I, I feel like it's important to like try and make sure you like foster and harbor a community where like as many people as possible feel uh, welcome and like safe and able to like enjoy themselves. You know. So I do try, and it's. I suppose I'm doing at least something right. So. <laughs> Thank you for the tip, I appreciate that. What does Infernal Melody actually do? It's a it's a damage buff. All horns get like a temp damage buff now. I th I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me check uh like the the hunter's notes. Let's see, weapon controls. Uh increase your own power by perform melodies. Infernal Melody. Uh, after filling the gauge next to the musical store by performing actions such as attacking, you can activate a special melody. Add a Magnus Ventrio or a Slide Beat to do so. Uh, let's see, let's see, does it, just, does it say on here? Yeah, boost attack considerably for a period of time. So it's like a big attack buff that's like temporary. I mean, I guess also your your, your normal attack of some is also temporary, but like... This one especially. Okay, so, uh, let's Time sharpen. I want to try and map this out to see if Infernal Melody also improves the attack of the Earthshaker. Uh, so let's... Okay, now, uh, let's slide beat into Melody. Hundred twenty. Okay, so it does boost this a little bit. That's cool. And it adds like some extra damage to that forward smash as well. So. Yeah, you can uh, infernal melody out of your trio or your slide beat. Not your performance, but your slide beat. Your 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 wire bug X. It's neat. So if you don't have like a trio ready, or if you want like something fast to get it off in, you can just use a wire bug. It's neat. A lot of cool combos you can do with the horn. Cool, cool, cool. Interesting. Hmm. Now, how high can we go? That's the question. Besides hunting horns, do you have any other favorite weapon types? I just kind of like all of them, frankly. Uh, I just play hunting horn the most because it's my most favorite and I like understand it the best out of all of them. Hmm. How high am I planning to get? As high as it'll let me go. Which is to say... Here? Whoa.
Huh. Interesting. Oh, baby, that's mural. We go up there? No. Damn it, I wanted to try and go up there. Invisible walls. But what if? Nope, invisible wall. Okay, that's about as far as you go. But what if? Hello. If I have never played a Monster Hunter game, is this a good one to start with? Oh, this is a great one to start with. Uh, I mean, ev the way Monster Hunter works is basically uh, the best one to start with is usually whatever's newest in the series, but this one especially has, like, a lot of quality of life reasons- or improvements that, like, make it a lot sort of easier to- to come to grips with if you're, like, a newer player. Uh... So yeah, give it a whirl! There's a free demo you can try, uh, to see if you like the gameplay sort of thing. And thank you so much for the two months of, of support, Tiny Buff Cat! I really appreciate that! Down we go! So we've got to walk in. I don't know about that last one! <laughs> Thank you, Breathe Carnage, for the five month resub. I really appreciate that. Alright. That's cool. I didn't know that was there. Until now. Now I know that was there. Let's. See if we can upgrade. Uh, what do I need for the upgrades again? No, that's... I have forge and are upgrading. Kested on shell and neoptering parts. Okay. Come to me if you need new gear. Never played a Monster Hunter in your life, but you spent a hot minute playing the demo while watching this very stream and you had fun. Your small brain, be nice to yourself. You're not small brain. You're just bad at something because you're new at it. That's how being new at things works. Be nice to yourself. None of that. Monsters should constantly say their names in cute voices like the famous Bugs Night. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. Uh, all the combos and mechanics got you a little bit confused, but it was still fun. It's 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 a mechanically complex Hello, game. Holly. Hi. Always love chilling out while watching your streams. Thank you for being you. Oh, it's kind of you to say thank you. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate that. Like. It's it's a mechanically dense series. It's going to probably be a little difficult your first time playing it. Uh, it's going to take some time. It, I make it seem effortless because I have thousands of hours in this series across multiple video games. <laughs> Thank you, Screen Suki, for the brand new sub. I appreciate that. Which quest would you like? Let's go hunt you a Tetranodon. Maybe you'll feel better. During a survey of the Frost Islands, I was attacked by a Tetranodon and found myself inside its gut. I managed to escape, but others might not be so lucky. Please hunt it before someone gets eaten. Good luck. Telling your girlfriend last night, while you're so interested in the game, you think you would love it, you're bad at real-time action games? Hey, you never know until you try, you know? And ultimately, you know what you want better than, like, anything, but, uh... You know, it... Like, there's a whole demo you can try. It feels a bit silly to just, like, not even try it out just because, like, well, I might be bad at it. What if I'm bad at this game that I want to play? I don't know. What if the world was made of pudding? What if spiders were crawling out of my eyes? Well, are they? You never know. Until you try. Maybe not the best analogy, now that I think about it a little more, but, uh... And, like, I understand the trepidation when there's, like, a $60 price tag. Uh... Yama, yama, tasty chef. Thank you, young Nana, for the bits. I understand the trepidation when there's, like, a big, like, price tag buy-in, so, like, that's reasonable. Uh, but, like... You know. There's a whole demo you can try. Just give it a shot. I was... I was fucking bad at the game when I first got it. <laughs> uh, let's get... Um, 
the sharpener one. There we go. Oh, no, I already have that. Okay. Uh, so let's get... a eh, body trainer. Sure. Only villains skip the cutscene. No! <laughs> yeah! Time to go. Okay, and. Come here, buddy. Buddy. I love you. Aww. Happy. Love this fucking bird. Go. Buddy has a sit. Are you getting enough food? Huh. <sighs> I honestly didn't account for Elder Fugans and Hinoa's seemingly never-ending appetites. The food stores were gone in minutes. Well, since the battle is over so quickly, I suppose it's no matter. And I bet we have to thank you for that, so thank you, Holly. Eat plenty of rice. Okay! <laughs> well, let me talk to you. Lend me your ear. Great work in the stronghold. Defending the outside was tough, too. And rather terrifying, to be honest. Let me describe it to you, in a poem. Mm -hmm. I swing my hammer. Master Hojo goes flying. I am so sorry. It was hilarious seeing Master Hojo flying through the air like, Wah! I swear it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> okay, maybe I do actually kind of like the poet. I heard you got attacked by some fearsome monster. Glad everyone was okay, though. There'll be tons of scary-looking monsters coming to the village with a rampage thing, huh? <laughs> I wish I could be a hunter right now so I can help protect the village, too! Someday, kid. Take care of yourself till then. <sighs> I kind of want to eat some rice now. Floating in water, it beckons silently. Once its prey approaches, there is no time to flee. Gut and strength alike. Rank among the greats. Don't get pushed out of the ring. For the abyss awaits. Amphibious wrestler, Tetranodon. This'll be easy. It's a Kappa wrestler. It's a Kappa Sumo wrestler. That's dope. All right. Let's go ride. Walk. Down here for me? Anything down here for me? Uh, an ice bird. A nice bird with some buffs for me. This will send me flying. Let's take it. Whee! Anything up here for me? There we go. Some goodies down there. Goodies for me. Goodies for Holly. Mine. Spug. 
these birds. Bust up these bushes. Alright. That's a little bit of bugs, or birds from that one. I keep thinking they're bugs, they're not. I don't know why glowing, glowing critter in a video game makes me think bugs. It's birds. It's nice birdies. Whenever you play World, you make sure to gear up in warm clothes for the snow missions. I did that too, but I don't really have like many. Ar I only have one armor set in this one right now, so I can't do that yet. Maybe someday. Load up on this. There's Gumby. Let's jump up here about. There we go. Mining. This bird. Jump! Where does this take me? Uh, that way. No, that's not what I want. Get on the dog. Oh, you're moving, huh? You're moving away from me, huh? Oh, hang on. I gotta get some of these Let's for a side see. quest, so... Nab some more of these and I'll eventually get, uh... Making progress. Be able to upgrade to another submarine for my animals. What's up here? Is there anything up here? I was already up here, wasn't I? Oh, no, stamina bird. And... Thunderbeat. And a mining spot. No, it's not a mining spot. That's a smoke nut. Look, a nut. Uh, doggy. Thank you. Any other guys in the immediate vicinity here? Looks like no. So let's get back to it. Just barely out of range of that. That's cool. Oh, that's an instant stun. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, the sonic barrier lets you, like, power through screens, too! Ow. <gasps> I need a heal! That's a cool rock you got there! Nothing personal, buddy. Don't hit me while I'm doing this. You okay? You hit me while I was doing that. You having fun wailing there, bud? Yeah! Oh, that felt cool. You shouldn't have ticked me off! Got him! Alright, let's let's attack and ride! Let's whack on this as much as I can while I have bad sharpness. And now... Doggy ride! And sharpen. Haha! <laughs> wonder if you can break this guy's shell. <laughs> Oh, hang on. I want these, I want these. I want these squids, I want these squids. 
running away from the fight to grab some funny squids. I don't really know what it is, but a buff is a buff. Oh, hey, you followed me! That's so nice of you. I could power through that Masonic armor. I was wrong. God, that, that gap closer is really fun, but I gotta get better at using it safely. Okay, that's a pounce, and... Here it comes. I've never paid for a mistake in my entire life. Yeah! Oh, I did get stunned at the end, though. And I've got no wire bugs. Oh, God! Sidled through that if I knew it was coming. And we got our healing. Oh, man's tired. Okay. After it. Save my burst. Uh, get on a dog. So, get us new. Let's get uh, a ration. Oh, these are the attack buff ones, or affinity buff, or whatever. There we go. Eat a ration. Eat another ration. Uh, man, you went real far away. This is a cool-ass fight. I really like this, actually. Love the fact that the monsters can combo your ass if you're not prepared? They sure goddamn can! <laughs> God, I have had so many uh, incidents in past games where, like... I got cocky or I let my guard down and suddenly some monster is like, okay, I'm gonna give you the old 1-2 punch, which rapidly becomes the old 17-18 punch. Uh, it's down here, Liz, right? Yeah, yeah. Somewhere around here. No, not this way. Uh, God, I'm lost. Yeah, I'll just go around the other way. Uh, no, it's here, right? Yeah, there we go. I found it. I'm so smart, actually. Hey, it's a free health bird! Howdy, motherfucker. Okay. So let's... All right, cool. And I broke his tummy. Yeah, yeah. Let's have some fun. Nice. And stun him again. Barely missed on that one. The parasol seems like it does some decent blunt damage too, so that's good for stunning. No, you don't. No, you don't. Now I do. Ha <laughs> That felt good. Oops. Oh god! Oh god! Am I? Am I? Am I? <laughs> I might be making a mistake. Actually, no, I'm a genius. <laughs> let's... Uh, where's the... Where's the whetstone? There we go. I'm just getting started. You leave me alone for a sec, okay? I got work to do. There we go. I thought I was dismounting the dog, but I was pressing the wrong button. Oh, you can break the, the tail, too! This is the end. Okay, I got one of those hits off, at least, and then I powered through it with the, the sonic barrier, so... Come on! 
Come on! Yeah! Don't you boulder me, don't you? Oh, you're asleep. Okay. I forgot to ha I forgot to capture. Awesome. I forgot to capture. No! I forgot to capture! I got so caught up in what I was doing, I forgot to capture! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I didn't have to, I just wanted to! <laughs> oh my god, look at how like stretched out and funny he is. Can you still do the thing where you go- Yes, you can. You can sit inside of your monster like it's a tent. Hell yeah. The time-modern tradition. Look at the puppy peeking out. It's awesome and good to do this, actually. This is my house now, and I live in here. And when I'm in here, I'm feeling so comfy and nice. Hell yeah. And hey, new monster, and I didn't faint against it. Nice. I'm feeling good about that. Congrats on the brand new apartment. Thanks. <laughs> I need you to go see Hamon. He says he wants to have a word with you. Kimura's more than just steel and monster hunters. Iori's been struggling to get what that means, but I think Ol' Ham is trying to clue him in. In his own way, of course. Ol' Ham used to be cold as Tatara Steel, but I guess he's getting soft in his old age. <laughs> anyway, don't keep our man waiting. Alright. Yep. Ah, Holly, you been to see Ol' Ham yet? I think he could shine a light on the answer Yamogi and Iori are looking for. If anyone gets it, it's him. Once famous hunter turned master craftsman is the very core of what I'm talking about. Later. Can I talk to the dog? Does it still just say Gur? No, it says Awu now. Please do Awu. Five million dollar reward. And here's the nice owl. Oh yeah. Hey, bud. How are you doing? Mm, you're here. Hey. You know of the monster Bishaten? It's a fanged, thick-tailed beast with unpredictable movements. Yeah. It's attacking anyone passing through the shrine ruins. An urgent quest has been issued for you to hunt it. What are you still doing here? Hey. <laughs> you need a reason to hear? Very well. Right now, you, now all of Kimura, hasn't got the strength or means to take on Magnamalo and the Rampage. Hmm. It feeds on the horde to gain power. You can try and kill it, but it'll just eat even more to resort its, restore its strength. Hey. So what we need to do is separate it from the Horde. And I'm devising a way to do just that. In order to finish my device, I need materials from Bishaten, which just showed up at the ruins. The construction itself is... <laughs> now forget it, time short. We'll talk when it's done. Right now, I just need you to hunt Bishaten. Come to me if you need new gear. Okay, so upgrade this. I still ready. need Kested arm shells in the upper parts. I still haven't gotten those. Bye. Okay. I think Bisha Ten might come from Bisha Monten, one of the seven lucky gods, or specifically the god of combat and protection. That would make sense, yeah. Like, all of the monsters, pretty ex not all of them, but like a majority are pretty explicitly in, uh, in Rise are, like, based off of, like, uh, like Japanese, like yokai and folklore and, and stuff like that. So it's a good day for a hunt. Oh, Holly! An urgent quest has come in. It's a request to hunt down a Bishaten, a big monster with a big tail that likes to monkey around. Hmm. Most of that monkeying around involves attacking using its tail. So keep an eye on it, okay? Okay. I have a special quest for you. Lagombi is 100% the hair of Inaba. I don't think I've ever heard of that. That's list. neat, though. In order to separate Magnamalo from the Rampage, I need to complete my device. In order to do that, any materials from Bishaten. One has been spotted in the Shrine Ruins. Depart at once! Let's fucking go. 
Oh, actually, before we do, uh, I should... Cancel. Go to... Uh... Kinoa looks elegant, but she's still just as much of a dork as the other quest girls. Yeah, both of them are. It's wonderful. They, they could have very easily just gone the route of like, oh, we're elegant and posh and poised and like super uh, well-mannered and like that would have been like very dry and boring, but it would have been fine. Uh, but no, they go for the whole everyone in the Monster Hunter games is like a fucking weirdo sort of angle and I love it. Give me the goods. Uh... We still gotta wait for you. Uh, uh, how are we doing item wise as far as uh, crafting uh, uh, plank bombs goes? Oh, I need more parachutes and sleep herbs. Maybe I should send you off to get something else instead. Although that'll cancel out the, the bargain skills, so I should try and get that other one built right away. Uh, side quests. Quests. Uh, three wisp lanterns. How do you get wisp lanterns? Aww. Pair of Inaba is the story of a tricky white rabbit who crosses the ocean by tricking crocs to walk on their backs. He gets his comeuppance in the end for his hubris. Neat. Okay, so I need wisp lanterns so that I can get another submarine, which I should get ASAP, just for the sake of easier trading. Uh, these guys are all done, so let's complete the training. All right. This hot pink bitch is named level seven. <laughs> Great. So let's uh, deselect you, deselect you. And now let's switch him out. Uh, let's select. I select you? Why can't I select you? What? The, the training is over. I, I, I deselected you from there. Hang on. Uh, oh. No, not what I wanted. Uh. Did that work? Did that deselect them? Looks like it. Okay. Now. Why is the buddy's name Breakfast? Because he's hot pink. Breakfast. There we go. We'll take a plunder cat for a bit. That sounds fun. Okay. Um. Uh, now. Extra equipment. You. I want. Yes. Oh, you can just exchange from here. Okay, good. That makes that easier. I was wondering if you could, but never actually tried it out. Okay, and then... Breakfast. Nice, nice. Okay, and now... Buddy skills. Uh, you have... Health up in the gate paralysis, that's all you can equip for now. You crit up, health up, and the gate paralysis, sure. Take that. How many gear? Uh, I would like you to have. You know what? You can keep the chain, and I'll also give you. Uh, hide the palamutes presence, sure. You can you can be a, you can be our stealth master! <laughs> <laughs> sure, let's go with that. And now let's complete uh, this, or rather, let's send out people. Um, we don't have any shining bits on it, but what do we want parts for? Uh, we want Neopterans, so let's send them after you. Let's select... Uh, 
Lola, Nana, Boots, and Charlie. Let's go. Off they go. Cast out to the winds. My little heroes. Cast out to the great beyond, never to return. It's so fucked up, but it had to happen. <laughs> Let's go on a quest. A special quest has been added. Monkey wrench in your plans. In order to separate Magnamalo from the rampage, I need to complete my device. In order to do that, I need materials for a bichote. One has been spotted in the shrine ruins. Depart at once. Good luck. Uh, I'm fine with these. Put this away and this. Might need that. And I think this guy also does poison, so let's take some, some herbal meds. Okay, so... Um, sort. Okay. Maybe later. Let's eat a meal. I would like uh, more points. And... Um, trainer. And I suppose we'll go for... Polisher again. Uh, that sounds good to me. Here we go. Those are great. Oh, baby, it's Dongo time. Here you go. <laughs> oh, yumma, yumma. <laughs> Hell yeah, two out of three is not bad. Duty calls. Duty calls. Time to summon a bird. Snack for burn. What's up, little buddy? I've never had Dongo before, but they sound good. Aww. Love you, bud. Namaste. Now fly! Later. Keep me safe. And let's a hunt a monkey. I like that they only show Magnamalo in this painting, like, once you actually encounter Magnamalo in that cutscene. That's a cute touch. On the road to perdition. Stands a false sentry. With a devilish mission. Once it spots movement. It puts its tail in position. It's plan to pelt prey. Coming into fruition. For this is its territory. And there is no admission. Frenetic ascetic. He shot him. Let's do this. <laughs> what if a bird was also a monkey, was also a bat, My. and also wanted to throw fruits at you? What if we took Kongalala, the joke monster that farts and throws poo at you? Uh... And made a monster like that, but was actually cool and, like, a threat and not just a joke. Oh, baby, that's Bishaten. Oh, baby, you got a Bishaten right there. 
want to fight this bug. Cool. Nothing personal, buddy. I need your bits. A Nahabra Stinger. It's actually a hollow tube that houses paralytic secretions. Doggy ride. Usually those things, like, fucking explode when you try and fight them. Oh, yeah, the funny fat tanuki are bomb -badgy. Uh, they're just, like, full of explosive gas for whatever reason. They're just like this. Regrettably. Get the easy ration out for later. Get anything up here. What was that? What was that? I'm flame nut. Uh, you'll be useful. I'll take you. Got any goodies here? There's a goodie over there, so I'll go grab that in a sec. Let's see. Okay, so. Oh, wrong button. Shit. Okay. Fuck. Uh, let's try that again. Well, there's a health bird down here, so. It's actually fine. Maybe it's actually fine that we fell down here. Maybe it's actually good and cool and I did it on purpose because I'm a genius, actually. Maybe I've never done anything wrong in my entire life and... Uh... Well, now I'm just talking nonsense. <laughs> I've done plenty of things wrong and will continue to. Like this. Which I actually did do wrong, uh, but not on purpose. So that's, uh... <laughs> Get some stamina back. Well, I made it eventually, and that's what matters. Get an extra bug. Mine. Uh, get a funny spider. Puppet to spider. Jump down here. Uh, hang on. There's, there's birds over there. No, there isn't. Okay. Birds over here, though. So. We're going all around the long way, but that's okay. Sometimes you gotta take the scenic route. What's this? Herb. Refresh that. Uh, jump up here. Got a health bird. Sometimes you just gotta run across a shrine for fun. My. Everything I do is specifically with intent. It's just sometimes my intent is bad and wrong. Let's up here ways. Go. Who's this? There's some shoot here. patch. Oh, super shoots. Grows in the staple in the shrine ruins. It's a Kamura staple. It's food. Oh, baby, that's dinner. Birds and birds. Fire lanterns. And hey look, the monkey's going this way anyway, so we're following it. It turns out this was a genius level brain maneuver this whole time. And from the heavens we descend. To take on our fruit flinging friend. The insta stun. Ow, the tail whip though. Youchi, youchi. Oh, and there's a bear here now. Turf four, turf four, turf four. Damn, we broke his beak already. That was fast. Did 
Duke it out. Duke it out. All right. That works. Only got one bash, but better than nothing. What? Actually, uh, a puppet spider, puppet spider, where are you? Get back here, you fucking bear! Oh, damn it. I wanted to ride the bear and get even more damage. Ow. Hey. Come on now. Ah, missed that completely. Let's try that again. Come on! I just want to get my funny dash off on you so I can do my burst. You're my best pal. <laughs> okay! Don't you move, don't you move now. There we go. Okay. God, I love this song. Okay, so sharpness does affect that attack. Which makes sense, but also I thought it wouldn't, because it's just sound instead of hitting. But, you know, that's not how this game works, so... Okay, sharpen! Get our... Fire beat ready. Ow, shit! Uh, I should heal. I should heal. Uh... Okay. Gotcha! Burn it up! It's a pretty funky spin you got there. Show me how you do it. See if I can bust up this tail. Probably can, but it's gonna like probably be hard. Especially when it's like turning to face you. Uh, come back! After it. Okay, let's puppy ride. Go. Get out my first aid med. <sighs> Grab a honey. Eat a ration. Eat a ration. Sharpen. Weapons getting Going through all the motions as we go for a ride. Uh, drink a potion. Alright, we're good. Now it's time to throw hands. Also pick up some poo on the way. Why not? Ooh, that's a nasty win. Wind press. Let's see if we can. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Wonder if I if I throw the puppet spider and I can get another mountain now. Uh, let's try that. Actually. Jesus. Ow. Jesus. Ow. I guess that's just gone. Let's get so stinky with it. Look at me for a bit. Let me smack your head in. Damn, I powered right through that and died. <laughs> well, that was almost cool as hell. <laughs> now it's just a little bit cool as hell. Love how much she yells. Who is she yelling for? For me. She's yelling for me. Which means, I guess I'm yelling for me because I just made this like a self-insert. <laughs> Wire bug. Almost there again. Almost there again. We have another healthy bird. Arsorous material. Sure, I'll take it. Get some 
slammed it at her. Let me jump up. Jump up. Let's ride a wire bug. Ride the dog. My. Something's up here. Let's go see what it is. It's a uh, jewel lilies. Might as well put this here. Just to have it here. I'm not going that direction though, so. Whee. Where is. Oh! Attack up! I want that first. Hang on just a sec, you funny monkey. I'll be right with you. Oh, you're running. Okay. I guess I'll be right with you in a little bit longer. Didn't jump far enough. Oh, turf war! Turf war! Yes, 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 yes! It's done. Time for you to obey. Amazing! 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 Ow, missed. Oh well. Stay here. My buddy's the best. Stunned him. Oh, capture time. Almost. There we go. Capture time. How do you motherfucker? Step into my out. Step into my trap, why don't you? Down trap. Step into my trap, why don't you? Step into my trap, why don't you? What that stink bit I can use. Okay, uh, track bomb. Got him. Let's go home. Piece of cake. Good night. playing online with you, or been playing along with you online, and when will people learn to stay away from the head when hammer users are around? I mean, on the one hand, yeah, but also on the other hand, head is usually the weak spot for all the monsters, so it makes sense that people are going for it. They want to do the bigger death numbers. Anyways, we did it. We got lots of goodies. Oh, and a bunch of armor spheres, too. Neat. I'll take some. Nice, nice. Rip to this VA's vocal cord that's a lot of yelling. Yeah. Whole lot of screams and yelling in this one. Great work handling that urgent quest. <laughs> Taking care of that monster will add old Ham to finish his thingamabob. Go check it out when you can. Don't run off just yet, there's more good news. You can now take on four star quests. Get them from Hinoa when you're ready. And just one more thing. Magnamalo and the Rampage are almost upon us. You're doing real good out there, so don't lose focus. Okay. <laughs> the Bichotan is down and Hamon finished the device of his. All we can do now is wait for Magnamalo to rear its ugly head and prepare for the fight. Won't be long, I can feel it. You keep chipping away at those quests while we wait, okay? Get haunted. Damn, everyone's got things to say. We getting optionals now? I had this super weird thing happen to me the other day. I went on a trip to buy Dongo ingredients, and it got dark before I could make it back. So, I was walking through some gloomy caverns alone, getting this really creepy vibe. And suddenly I heard these screams like, Gyaar! And Bagyaar! 
I had really scared the life out of me. I panicked and ran home as quickly as I could, dropping all my stuff on the way. <laughs> Please, can you go find my stuff for me? I know exactly where I left it, and, I have Don and I'll have Donga ready when you're back. Getting back the groceries. Oh, hey, Holly! Guess what? I've gotten so good at making bunny dongo, they're turning out more delicious than ever. Cool, right? Now, when you eat those same dongo, the effect you get from them is even more powerful and energizing than before. I've updated the menu. You should check it out. Every dish on there is super yummy. You'll want to order a whole bunch of them. Thanks, you, Mogi. You got anything down here? Let's see. Someday I'm expecting one of the fishermen is going to have something for me here and I'm going to miss it just because it's so out of the way. Nope. Okay, bye. All right, what do you got for us? Ah, good tidings, Master Hall. Hunter Shiva has just resubscribed for five months using Prime Gaming. Hi, Holly. Hi! Smile, my copy unfortunately got delayed until Monday. Oh no! I hope you're having a blast. Oh, I'm having a hell of a good time, and I know you will too when it turns up for you eventually. Thank you so much for the five month resub, I really appreciate that. Ah. I have stocked a special selection of items expressly suited to your very exploits. Each and every one is guaranteed to be of use to you. I highly recommend that you give them your consideration. See you later. Also, I'm it's bingo time. Let's see if we can get that pure Macalite. This should be fun. Bingo! Well done. Immunizer, shock trap, trap tool, and some bombs. What else you got for sale now? Oh, you just straight up sell trank bombs. Coming right up. What are you looking for? Thank you kindly. Cool. <laughs> Dope. I'll take it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, new items. New ammo. More new ammo. Okay. Happy hunting. Okay, bye. How are you doing? Masterfully done. Thanks to you, the device is ready to go at the stronghold. Hey. With this, we can divide Magnamalo and the Rampage, and prevent it from regaining its strength. Hmm. Hmm? You wanna know how it works? Fine, I'll explain it to you. It's complicated, so listen well. The flesh and blood of the Rampage is extremely nutritious to Magnamalo. That's why it always follows the Horde. Its nose is amazingly sensitive to the Frenzy. We'll use that quality against it. Hmm. This is where Bishatin comes in. Its stomach is perfect for aging meat. For the monster palate, anyway. We stuff fresh meat from a rampaging monster into the stomach. Soon, it'll be punched enough to draw Magnamalo here. But my contraption with the stomach inside it will lure Magnamalo into one of the stronghold's secret passages. Hey. You'll be waiting at the end of it. And the rest is up to you. Gamora is more than steel and hunters. Mm. My device was my answer to Fugin's words, the way only a blacksmith knows how. Since you helped me make it, I'd like to give you this in exchange. See you later. Thanks for the armor spheres. What do you want? Can you upgrade this armor more? Oh yes, we can. Defense. Cool. Now get hunting. Oh, we should look at uh, what oh, some of the other like here. weapons and armor are. So, any mean? new hunting horns? Still can't do this when you cast it on shells, but we do have enough Neopteran parts. We can also upgrade this using Bishaten for 
Uh, so I think we should, because that gives us, like, more raw and, like, some, some green. Which is good, that's what we want. Uh, let's pour in some scraps. And, uh... Haste makes waste. Take all the time you need. There we go. Gotcha. Nice! Now we've got a stronger horn. We can also just straight up get to the metal bagpipe. That would use up all our Macalites, so we don't want to do that quite yet. Oh my god, there's a Tetranodon horn? Frog flute! A horn made from Tetranodon parts makes croaking sounds using the water inside of it. That's got defense boost, water boost, and dulling strike. There's a chance to increase attack power when your sharpness gauge is green or lower. Oh. Interesting. So it's like... Encourages you to play with, like, lower-ish sharpness. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Also, this little Yazuchi horn that we haven't made. That's pretty. Pretty. What skills does that have? Increases damage to small monsters and increases Palico and Palamute attack power and defense. Ooh. Yeah, it's like that one blunt weapon attack from, uh, from Generations. I thought that was a neat concept. Kuyaku horn, Kizu horn, we got the Nahabra horn. Uh, oh, and we got the Magia charm as well. He's gonna blossom cricket, and that's got what? Uh, health recovery, sonic barrier, health recovery, and antidote. So this is very much the uh, the the like heal your teammates and uh, prevent them from taking as much damage type of horn. Uh, with Ice Boost, Delving Strike, and Silk Bind Boost. Hunting Horn preferred by women. Its feminine tones echo across the battlefield. This is your magical girl hunting horn. It's cute. In, in case you really just want to be like a like a, like a a pretty cure or a Sailor Moon. We got that for you. And also the Saxaboom. In case you want to be the Saxaboom. Cool, 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 cool. Let's look at some armor sets. Let's see if we got any new ones. We've seen Baggy. Uh, we've seen Lagombian Alloy. Did I show off this yet? This is like a like a Chun Li type of look. If you want that, uh, hat modeled on a chaos creating mushroom. Foes may hallucinate at your feet. Brings chaos to foes while instilling a sense of calm serenity within its wearer. It's cute. Uh, we showed off this one. This is. Uh, cool set if you like bug. We got the Nahabra set, which makes you look like uh, a foppish bug uh, gentlewoman. Kuluyaku set, which uh, it's a midriff bared thing, but it's all right, I suppose. Uh, vibrant and beautiful, no wonder it's a hit. Blah blah blah, things like that. Uh, Rogi armor I showed off. Akasama I showed off. This is the Ludroth armor if you want a funny coat. Uh, made of sponges. Keep you so sopping wet when you need it most. Showed off Kizu. And this is the Tetranodon set. Uh, it's huge motherfucker hours. Uh, with a disappointing amount of thigh showing, but that's Monster Hummer. Women are rear designed for whatever goddamn reason. Wish it wasn't, but you know. And the Bisha 10 armor. Oh? Oh? I kind of like the look of this, though. Item Prolonger, Stun Resistance, Wide Range, and Maximum Might. Interesting. Once worn by one who trained in the Deep Mountains, see the Unseen. Worn by ancient mountain deities that protect you from evil. Illuminate the wearer's way through shadowy mountain glens. Fable to grant wings to ride the wind and sail o'er hills. Leg guards for the intrepid mountaineer in search of enlightenment. Neat! Tis a neat look. I kind of want to look at what some other weapons look like. Uh, Kimura hammer. This is the Bisha 10 hammer. We got the iron hammer. Bago horrors. A bone hammer and a Rizuchi hammer. Oh, this is... The hell is this? It's like a weird revolver blade saw. Huh. Serrated teeth can even rip through scales. Uh... Brought back the gun hammer. 
They brought back the gun hammer. Makes Fuck yeah! You need. Fuck yeah! Game is good. Game is good. Unequivocally, game is good. No doubt about it. Also, they have this, like, honeycomb Arzuro's hammer. Meat! Uh, Kizu, which is, uh... Terrifying, and it's like a little mouth holding something. Got this cool ice hammer. Uh, the boner hammer. Ludroth funny, splasher. Uh, the Izuchi hammer's cool looking. That's what I can look at. Uh... See some sword and shields. More swords got a pretty, des pretty design. The beats. Oh, that's pretty. I like the little like flared up sort of like a uh, uh, handguard hilt sort of thing. Ragi sword is very silly. Uh, Ludroth sword. Brought back the frost edge. Uh, it's just the regular ore sword. Tetranodon sword. Oh, chunky. Looks almost like a bayonet, and looks like a little, like, the little, the little handguard looks a little bit like a trigger sort of thing. That's neat. Uh, Kizu Razor, Baggy Knife, uh, the Bone Kukri, uh, we got a Bullfango and Renaplos combination sort of thing going on. Uh, cool Hooked Izuchi Blade, the, the funny, the funny Nahabra Sword. Nahabra, but fire. I don't know what this blast thing is, but I guess we'll see eventually. Sleepy Shell Sword uses Dream Shell. I've never seen a Dream Shell before. You can hear the calming sound of the ocean from it. Neat. Uh, the Cat's Paw, which is always cute. I don't know what this... Oh, Gun Lances. Let's see some I fucking Gun Lances ready. before we get back to it. Gun Lances are... These tend to be pretty fucking cool looking. This is like this dope-ass scythe with like a fucking cannon on the end. So happy they brought back unique weapon skins. Me too. I'm glad that they were able to have that be like a priority. There's a Delex harpoon. Ooh, this is cool for if you if you like boat. Really cool weapon if you enjoy what a boat is. But they're not letting me say more than that. Ooh, I like the like wheel lock uh, sort of thing on here. Uh, the terrifying Kizu mouth, like a generator shield. Funny triangle, uh, bone gun. They're calling this the Boner Blaster. The Legomberator, that's a cute name. Uh, Ludroth Harpoon as well. I'm not sure if that's new or not, but it's cool looking. We got this uh, bug one, another bug one, another bug one. I wonder what these blast ones are. More things with the Dream Shell. Eat. What about some switch axes before we get back to hunting? I like the way this one fans out. Uh, we got a cool fish one. This is new. Uh, you want just like an array of fucking rusty scalpels? You got it. It's there for you. Arzuros one is cool. Never understood why the Arzuros switch axes always did poison, but it's something they follow, I suppose. No we got the, There's plenty of time. This old gnarly uh, metal one. Coming that design coming back. The Agnesom one is real neat. Uh baggy one. Basic bone blade. That's the triple B. You know what that means, because I don't. Uh cool Ludroth axe. I always did like the Lagombi weapon designs. I'm always sad that there's never been a Lagombi hunting horn. I got to make one someday. Oh, this is cool looking. I'm into this one. Shame we can't make it. Take good care of your gear. Let's lend this guy a hand. Hi. Hard at work as always, I see. How's your palmate treating you? Hearing stories about your work is such an inspiration. Every time I hear a story, I get an idea for some new palmate gear. Hmm? Then I get so excited and was in such a hurry to create that I forgot to get the materials I need. Do you have any you can spare? If so, I can set you up with some never-before-seen Palamute gear when I'm finished. Uh, Dragonite ore and Great Izuchi hide. Well, we got the Izuchi hide. Yo, that dog's gonna get a shuriken. 
Guess we gotta go find some dragon ore. How are you today? Good job out there. Oh, by the way, have you noticed how excited Elder Fugan and Master Hamon have been acting recently? My sister says that Master Hojo in the Gathering Hub has been in a super good mood, too. He's croaking in delight. All three used to be famous hunters back in their day, and now they're living their glory days vicariously through you. <laughs> mm. I wonder if they remember doing four-star quests. Well, I'm sure it'll all come back to them soon enough now that you've unlocked them. And that's not all you've unlocked. More stars equals tougher monsters. But I'm sure you'll be able to... You'll be just fine. <laughs> it's a good day for a hunt. All right, what have we got? Which uh, quest would you like? Somnicanth, Fairy Off, Rathian, Toby Kadachi, Volvidon, Basar. Basorio, my boy Basorio returns. Uh, this is just to get some more Dongo ingredients. Uh, hunt three boys. The best quest. My daddy's the best, and I want to make the best gloves for him. Mommy says Rachnoid Thread is the best for making gloves. So can you bring, go and fight a few of me and bring me the you thread? You'd be the one. best if you did. Just go take a stroll or even a nap. Get so cold. Wins the race. Uh, get some guts. Uh, hunt a Puke Puke. All right. We got quite a few things we can hunt. Neat. Also got some three-star guys we never did hunt. We never did hunt a bear, a bear off, so... I reckon we ought to do that. But first... Come again. Uh, we got some stuff in the buddy closet to check out. The time has come. I have quite an important message for you. We have modified the Meocenaries' kites, so they are now able to survey farther off territories. This means they'll come across new, different materials to collect. If you have no qualms with it, I'd like to get started right away. Okay, but, I mean, my buddies are still out hunting, so. We got bones. So we gotta wait till they're back. The kites will now be powered by gas. Using the miraculous power of gas, soon all of your cats will fly so hard to the sky. The gas is so toxic, so don't let them breathe this. Your hunts will be a nuisance if you get infected with gas. I've talked to the smithy and we've designed some new gas weapons for you to use. Gas. What did I need for the fucking the quest for this lady again? I needed uh Wisp lanterns. I gotta find where those are at some point. I would really like an additional submarin. Was that it for in here, though? That's something in the Gather Hub, apparently. Oh, you just talking about how this is upgraded. Uh-huh. Upgrade to Dongo making. Everything's tastier. You can count on it. Added some new Dongo. Hell yeah. Uh, what else is in the Gather Hub? Oh, right. The shopper person. Uh... Your favorite customer, even though I've literally never bought anything from you specifically yet, because I've only ever bought things out here. Alright, who else is in the Steelworks wants to talk to me? Oh, you got some wire bugs for me? I'll take them. Oh, yo, it's you. Heard you be doing pretty well lately. Not that I expect any less from a rookie I took under my wing. To help you keep up the good work, here's some more great wire bugs I caught. Hang you in. find them useful. Fucking hell yeah. And you. It is I, Fukashigi the informant, at your service. Very well. I'll impart to you the fifth dirty secret of Kimura. Minoto the hub maidens. Drawing skills. Hmm. Well, uh, to be blunt, they suck. One day I snuck into the gathering hub and saw Minoto sketching. She giggled and said she was trying to draw Master Hojo, but... It didn't look like Hojo at all! It looked exactly like a Tetranodon! <sighs> Some people have artistic sense, but I don't think Minoto is one of them. By my whiskers, wasn't that juicy? I'll update you again once you've completed an urgent quest from Hinoa. This fucking gossip cat. Uh, the implication is that if you've been, like, following along on the Twitter, they've been posting these little, like, uh, uh like, tutorial-y, uh, pictures with, like, uh, like, information about, like, how the game works and stuff like that. The implication is that the quest maiden is the one that's been drawing them, which is really delightful. Oh, 
taste doesn't scare me. Why do Dango taste better if you eat him with friends? It's the best. Oh, uh, <sighs> All right, bud. Bunny Dango are a taste of heaven. Let's do. Have a look. A bear off. What's the text for this first? Patui, look at me, covered from head to toe in mud, all because a stupid bear off attacked me. Now all the mushrooms I gathered are ruined. Just great. Can you go and bash that bear off, please? Be careful out there. Let's fucking get his ass. Let's get his ass. Oh, let's teach him a lesson he'll always forget. Oh, I'll take a shock track. And sort this. There we go. Okay. My goddamn mushrooms! They got all messed up again! Fuck! The hell's wrong with this guy? It's like he's a wild animal or something! Temporarily increases attack and defense after consumption. Once. I think I'd rather have Polisher. Uh, what else? Extends riding time. Halves the effect duration of defense down, speeds up light recovery, slightly increases fire res, water res, thunder res. Ice res. Let's train our animals. now that you can't really see it because I don't have like a face cam or anything but I need you to know every time that song happens I'm dancing along to it oh hell yeah we got all three yeah, we're getting a bunch of health and stamina now from the dongo and of course hey cutie and of course pet the bird Buddy. Feed the bird. What's up, little buddy? Yippee! Oh. Boo 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 boo. Love you, bud. Let's go. So we're gonna be fighting Baroth, which is like, uh, if a funny dog was made of scales and was also a train that loved to roll in the mud. Check it out, okay? Desolate wasteland. Perfect for lighthearted hunts. But do not let your guard down. Don't pull any stunts. For the mud hides secrets, and none of them are good. Where once was sand and water, a monster is now sand. Wasteland Warrior. Bear off. Let's do this. Let's a go. Let's a go. Have the whetstone on hand. Get me some heal thing. It's official, I'm anime. No, I'm a human. Anime is a type of animation. I hope this helps! About Monster Hunter because of yesterday's stream. Uh, now you're here to absorb Epic Gamer tips? Hey, hell yeah. Hey, Capcom, you ought to pay me uh, for pushing your game. 
<laughs> hey, hey Capcom, you wanna pay me for getting so many people to buy your game? Hey Capcom, hit me up. I ain't opposed to selling out for Monster Hunter. Is there a jewel lily somewhere nearby? No. Okay. Let's. There we go. Birds! Kitty! Alright, let's get a goodie. I don't think I've ever actually been to this part of the map. Guts Crab! Shares symbiosis with fungi. Oh, Gust Crab, not Guts Crab. Creates gusts that can prepare you upwards. Prepare? Propel. I can't goddamn read today. Or any day, but you know. You do not want a Capcom deal. They will literally take sponsored provided games back if you don't play them right. What? Huh. What does that mean, play them right? My. Interesting. I have never heard of anything about Capcom brand deals, to be fair. I just like getting paid. I just like being able to have money so I can pay bills and, like, have savings. <laughs> What's in here? Oh. Spider's web. God's bug. It's just God's idea. Hello? You just live here. Hey, Rebel Yell with the tip. Hello, Miss Holly. I hope your hunt of monsters has been fun and good. It has. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. That's awful generous of you. Let's see. Got more over here. I'm mostly just exploring the map at this point because I haven't really seen this map much. I was here what? Once? Twice? Fucked up a bird? here in this cave. Yeah. Breath of the Wild has spoiled you. You now expect every game to let you use a paraglider. Mine. Uh, I felt that way when I was playing fucking uh, what's it called? Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, where I was very much like, man, the open world design in this game is pretty cool, but I kind of wish they just like wholesale aped uh, the design of uh, oh, that's an egg. I don't want egg. Let's drop item. Uh, I no longer wish for egg. I want to hunt these, though. I need these. I kind of wish they just, like, wholesale stole the design of uh, the, the, the paraglider from Breath of the Wild and put it in that game. Nothing personal, buddy. Hey! Enough of hits me. I need this. I keep forgetting to take side quests as well. Fuck. Oh, spiders coming into play. All right, guess we're carving that up too. Here comes the messy part. Ragnoid. My dog is glowing, and it's very cool. I love fluid. Uh, that's a sentence that sounded better in my head. Nothing personal, buddy. Thanks for the goods. Yeah, I got green sharpness now. I'm real happy about that. Get some dung.
some funny berries. Remember to drink a lot of fluid. Drink a lot of fluid alert. Oh, speaking of which. This ant might be full of fluid. It was full of jaws. And honey. That's not fluid at all. A boost. Doggy jump over a log. Doggy jump loggy. Uh, oh. Anything these bushes for me? Attack up. And I'm just kind of like wandering around like a lost fool, and I'm getting way powered up to fight this uh this bear off. I drop fertile mud. Nutrient rich and great for farming. Bug. Uh, more crab. Max attack boost. Sure, I'll take it. Gladly. Uh, let's get... What's it called? Uh, a ration ready. Man, this bear off has just given me the old runabout. I've been, like, all around the map at, by this point. Uh... But I suppose I'm exploring, so that's good. Let's get some ore. Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, I can't pick up that... I kind of want to pick up that mud beetle, actually, so... Let me... Use this Gus Crab. Grab you. Mud beetle will be good for uh, softening up this bear off. Baroff is made of hard stuff, so it's very hard. Eroded skeleton! Shaped by years of wind erosion. Oh, hang on. Birds, birds, birds. Birds in the bush, birds in the bush. Somebody get these birds out of the bush. Let me hop on the lines. Thank you. Some honey. Mine. We're close, we gotta be. Uh, jump up here. No, I wanted to keep jumping up there, actually. Thank you. Let me ride. Uh, let me get my beetle ready. It makes the hunts take longer, but it is pretty cool playing a game again where I don't know, like, where the fuck I'm going and just kind of exploring that way. That's a lot of fun. New stuff is exciting sometimes, actually. Hell yeah! I iframed through that shit! That's what I wanted. Look out for mud. Uh, it slow you down and it's so sticky yucky. Speaking of which, uh... Things that are yucky. Uh, let's soften you up, buddy. Camo on you. Ow, shit. I thought I'd be just out of range of that. Coming. Ow, shoot. Here comes the pain. Oh god, please don't make me regret this. I didn't regret this. Good news. Here comes the message card. I may regret this a little bit, but it won't stop me. See, I'm fine. I'll be taking this. God, I love this song. Da, da, da. Let's poison this son of a bitch. Hey, hey, get poisoned. Did you get poisoned? You did. Come on. Come on. No, into the, the poison's gone. You made me waste my poison. You made me waste my frog. There we go. 
Ow, shoot. Hope it easy. Thought I could iframe through that. Oh well. Oh, I'm stunned. It's a good thing I picked up all those defense bugs. <laughs> Yeah! How's that feel? Oh, I guess you actually kind of like doing that. Considering how you kept doing it. You shouldn't have ticked me off! Probably should have gone for the... Oh well, this works. All right. Cool, 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 cool. That's enough. Have a chase to this. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha. Now. Oh, that felt good. That's a big number. That's a big number. My buddy's gonna Shoot. Oh. Ouchie, ouchie. It hurts just a little. Okay, so the Sonic Shield does not let you take no damage. Uh, it just, like, reduces the damage sort of thing. Okay. So I definitely still got hurt by that. That's okay. We can account for that. Nothing personal, buddy. God, this gap closer is the coolest shit. I'm so glad they added this. It adds so much to the moveset. Uh, we need to sharpen. <laughs> we need to sharpen. Let's take that. Let's chug our first statement. Uh, jump up here for some more goodies. Now we stamina bird too while we're here. Let me ride. Hey, breakfast, 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 buddy. Uh, eat some rations because we need more stamina. Ooh, get that buff up. Get this up. Uh, nab the health. This. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Grab this and. Howdy, motherfucker, did you miss me? Oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> I got greedy. But sometimes greed is good. Slapping me. Okay, he's tired. Good, 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 good. Oh, come on. Get closer. Now I'm getting angry. Ow, oh, shoot. Missed that completely. away slightly from me come on I'm trying to bop you if you do not mind I'm trying to break the head but it's very hard as 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 evidenced by the fact that this man has a hardened head I need the trap too hmm. maybe we just go for the capture now Okay, that works. Placing a trap here. We did it. Awesome. 
We're going home. I found I love getting goodies and hey I didn't die fondly regarding this knife what a nice knife it is there's a sale going on. I'm Time to play the lottery. This should be fun. Bingo bango! Immunizer, more traps. I'll take them. Happy hunting. All right. What do we got for quests? Uh, let's. Which quest would you like? We could just do a Puke Puke, which is apparently now like a five-star guy, uh, which is wild to me. Let's take on some sub-quests, though, because I keep forgetting to do those. Uh, hunt a large monster, break parts, and... Um, permabuffers, those are pretty easy to get. I'll get us a lemmy apple. Nice. Take care of yourself. Oh, I forgot to actually take the quest. It's a good day for a hunt. That would help if I took the actual quest, wouldn't it? My research is everything to me, and this new antidote research shall be my legacy. In order to continue my work, I'll need you to fetch me a Puke Puke specimen. But I'll need you to bring your own antidotes. Don't forget to eat. Right, off we go. Uh get rid of these, get rid of these. All these go away too. I want the bombs, I want a little pitfall trap, uh, and I want my horrible medicine. That'll do ya. See if we got any upgrades we can make. Uh, now we can do this upgrade for the horn. Still don't know what this part is, but that's okay for now. Let's go with this. We want, uh... Out to Roth Jaws. No problem. Wasn't too hard to get. Uh, I don't know what the next upgrade is, but something, I suppose. Let's see if there's anything new here that we haven't seen yet. Uh, we got this Bear Off horn. It's a cool pipe. A horn that resembles a Bear Off's crown. Despite its appearance, it sounds sweet. Has a chance to increase damage with a negative affinity attack. Oh, interesting. So. You kind of bank on having the bad affinity, and uh, sometimes that'll turn into a positive hit. Interesting. Trinagon Horn, Izuchi Horn, Neutral, Ku Horn. Shut off from the Habra already. And unknown stuff. Okay. The village is in your hands. Cool. I have hands. Uh, that's the quest board. Whoops. Uh. Join a quest that another hunter in your lobby is accepted from the quest board, select the quest you'd like to join, blah blah blah. Uh, you can you can basically join other people's quests if they're in your lobby. That's the gist of it. I've, I I know what that is. Uh, I hit it again by accident. Fuck. Uh, nope. Okay. So, queue up the owl. Let's get some dongo. What's the next upgrade for the Arzaros horn? No idea. It doesn't show us. Presumably, it's a high rank upgrade. Let's order Dongo. I would like Carver. Although, I guess I'm not going to be carving when we're capturing, but sure, whatever. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's go with Polisher. And. Uh, speed's up Blight. I don't think Poison is Blight. Uh, so let's go with Trainer again.
wanted to get a picture of that last ending part. It's cute. Whoa! Hell yeah. Alright, now it's time to pet the owl. Hey, buddy. A tree. What's up, little buddy? I've never actually had Dongo before, so. I don't know what it's like, but this game makes it look very charming, so. It's not bad, if people like it. Uh, that sounded so much smarter in my head, and when I said it out loud, I just realized that's like, people die when they are killed. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom real quick, so I will be right back, and then we'll get on to our quest. Oh, I'm back from my break. I went to the bathroom and now I'm back and I'm ready to play more Monster Hunter again. Yo, Yoki Bear, look out. There's a monster coming to attack you. What's up? <laughs> and you rip out for the 238. Last night I dreamed that you were playing Monster Hunter while listening to a dubstep remix of my parrot yelling. <laughs> I also had Monster Hunter dreams, but I can't say I had a dream about a parrot dubstep remix. Thank you for the tip. An evening stroll. Looking for a snack to swallow whole. Never mind the taste. Satiety is the goal. Is that how you pronounce that? That was satiety. What? Satiety? Fuck off. That's not right. Not enough. Not enough. The beast growls for more. Anything is game for a true omnivore. Gluttonous gullet. Puke puke. Society is the goal. I'm the Joker. Let's go. Okay, so I'm not just like out of my goddamn gourd. That's just straight up not how it's pronounced. Okay. I mean, but it's 3 a.m. and I'm sneaking to the kitchen to eat slices of cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me when it's breakfast and I've eaten two eggs and I'm considering eating a third. Yeah, we've also not really done much of this map, so this might be fair game to explore a bit, too. Up we go! Get me some birds! That's what I'm talking about! 
Take the antidobra, that'll be good for antidote. Hello, Toby Kadachi! Hello, Toby Goofy! I see you over there! That's one! I see you! I hear you! You are not valid! You are a son of a bitch! <laughs> Hollow Toad, eat the eggs! <laughs> I spend an irresponsible amount of time thinking about Smash Mouth, eat the eggs. This sacred temple toad. This sacred temple toad. Oh, oh, turf war, turf war. This is gonna be good. No, no turf war. Just screaming. Okay. All right. Well, off I go. Fucking see you later, Toby Goofy. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, mining. Yeah, give me the goods. Straight up, more Macolite ore. That's good. I don't know why I staggered that out like that, but I started and then I couldn't stop. Nothing up top? Oh. Disappointing. I thought there would be. Uh... Stem this back. What's this? Pitcher clusters. Hardy pitcher. Pitcher plant with an no. acrid scent. Eats anything. Get some of the goods. Uh, and now let's find our pukey pukey. I'm so hungry, I could eat in anything. Reminds you of that one cow tempo from Wizard 101 that you got from teleporting to a random person? I don't know what Wizards 101 is. Oh, sweet, an Eskir go. I'll take that. More birds, my lord! Damn, I'm kitted out on the birds. I think that's more than good enough. Let's 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 get to the slugging. Wait, no, I see more birds up there. Never mind. Hang on. Hang on. I saw more birds, and now I have to go for it. Lantern bug. My. Last nut. There you are. Ow, oh, shoot. Boys and... There we go. Oh! I ran right into it again like a fool. Nice. You stand right there so I can wail on your head, yeah? I said stay right there so I can wail on your head. It's like you're not listening to me. It's almost like your video game construct, they're not sentient. Nice. Oh, those big numbers feel good. We are finally back in the realm of regular hundreds. Damn, that Antidobra immunity lasts for a good while. That's really useful against this goon. Oh, come on. Don't you poos on me. Come on, rude. Oh, you're leaving. I should have fucking saved that. Oh, I've made a tactical miscalculation. No. Alright, let's... Get out... The whetstone... This should fix it. Ration... Where'd you go? Every time I think of the words, where'd you go now, I hear it in fucking Chase's voice from the, the rolled up, like, announcer. Where'd you go? God, roll down is good. There we go. And... Big finish! Time for a mount. Ha! Nice.
Oh, this is gonna hit the loot draw. Well, the burst still got something, so... I guess I got something with that. Get down here. Ow, shoot. I thought I'd be clean to go through that. Oh, that felt good. That was a clean, meaty hit. Still not down? Really? Here comes the Dang. They made Puke Puke resilient in this one. Oh, you're coming back. Okay. Uh, I was gonna sharpen, but I mean, if, if this is how you want to do it, this is how we're gonna do it. You want I should knock you out of the sky? Now you're gonna land? I respect it. Come on, stay there, stay there. Ow! Fuck. That would have been so cool if I had landed that. I was even, like, right in range for it. how this guy is just poo-pooing on the floor like that. Come on. There we go. Got knocked back though, so I couldn't really combo on him. Yeah, that felt good to frame through. Oh! It... I wasn't paying attention to its weakness gauge. I... I wanted to capture it. <laughs> no! I wanted to capture it! That dodge felt sick as hell, though. I timed that out perfectly. <laughs> oh well. You win some, you don't some. And I guess I did technically still win this. Can you redo the quest? Yeah, but like, I don't need to farm for it right now. I just like capturing them on principle. It's just fun to capture, in my opinion. But I messed it up. I checked it up big time. Ah well. I want this bird. I don't know why the alert didn't pop up for this, but Ratters! Thank you so much for the raid! I hope you had a wonderful stream today. <laughs> Another successful hunt! Holly is addicted to violence? Listen, you've seen how I play video games. You've watched my streams before, I presume? <laughs> New weapon haunting horn, only a ghost can use it. Oh shit, I unlocked a ton of stuff, why? Oh, because Gigi got to level 10. Yay! Power drum, support move, health up, negate tremor, knockout king, artful dodger. Knockout king's gonna be good for the, for the, the little banjo, the little strumming stuff. Owl. Who wants to talk to you? Who? Oh, the Buddy Plaza. From my paws to your pocket. This game is pretty forgiving. Uh, I'm in low rank. Low rank is the forgiving part. Low rank is the game's tutorial. <laughs> It's the tutorial after the tutorial. Oh, right, I forgot to check on the, the buddy scouting. I set you up to scout for buddies, Hello. and... I never ended up taking any. Uh, Buki, Izo, Coronet, Jet, Mogami, Bell, Oscar! Cute. Pretty kitties. What skills do we all have? Silkbind, 
Loving salt, camouflage. <laughs> Just what Mon Hunter and it's downloading? Hell yeah! I hope you enjoy it. I think it's a fun time. I'm glad more folks are checking it out. Fleet foot feet. Draws a monster's attention, skillfully evades their attack, then mounts a counter attack. Oh. Neat. Do I want to hire any of these? This is a funny orange man. Do I know any orange cats? Let me check. Let me consult catnames.txt to see if I wrote any down. Uh. There's also. Uh, no, no brown ones here. Okay, there was. Garfield's not a real cat. Garfield's not a real cat. Garfield doesn't exist. Uh, oh! Fucking. Simon! Hey! Simon! <laughs> Lauren's cat, Simon. Who is old and smells, and I love him. <laughs> Every time I think about Simon, I have to spell his name out in all caps. Simon! Let's take Simon for a whirl. Simon! <laughs> for points than just sell it for money. I'll take one of those, yeah. <sighs> Simon! <laughs> Alright. Let's get those items. Get item from Bug. And from Baggy, we get two stingers. And a hide. Planks! Planks a bunch! Who says that? That's from fucking, uh, Owl! That's from, uh, Three Houses, isn't it? That one shopkeeper who's like, Thanks a bunch! Why am I thinking of that? What? What do you need? Uh, none of upgrades for now. That's okay. We got, oh, Puke Puke Horn! And it's just a bagpipe with some green on it. That's a little disappointing, but. Oh well. Plastic materials provide great amplification. I. I. I hiccup. I figured this was gonna happen, considering how it's happened with all the other world returning monsters, but. Don't make it any less disappointing. I love armor spheres. I love armor spheres. Only shopkeeper you know goes, Arr! Thank you! I don't know who that is. Who's that? 
Uh, Wyvern riding, uh, hunting, and some more. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I've never heard of it in my life. I've never once wow. seen a shopkeeper say in a Legend of Zelda game, such as The Wind Waker, uh, drive around in a little boat and go, oh! Thank you! I've simply never heard of it. Have a look. I don't think it's real. What if we fought two guys? What if there were two guys? In the right corner, Arzeros, and in the left corner, Tetranodon! Oh, you're here too? Uh, in the middle, you! How's that? Yeah, uh, good luck, hope you win! Be careful out there! What if there was two guys? What if there was two big guys? Harvester, uh, Qualisher, my friend Brady's playing Monster Hunter. I hope he's having fun. And riding time. Let's go with that. Oh, this cat sounds funny. I love it. <laughs> Shouts out to Brady, my friend Brady. Feels so different from Generations. Controls are still confusing since they're apparently based off world. It's it's like a blend between uh, world and Generations, in my opinion. Uh, I feel like the, uh, the Silkbind attacks, like fit pretty naturally into my brain because the binds feel similar to what they used for uh for like the hunter arts and it's basically the hunter arts but on a different kind of gauge that you can also use for mobility and stuff which is neat i feed him bird oh, little buddy yumma yumma love this bird I love this bird. It's normal for people to walk through you when you're a monster hunter. It's okay. It's fine and it's good and healthy, in fact. I forgot to take items in and out of my pouch, but that's maybe okay? That's maybe okay? Maybe it's okay. It might be okay. Oh shit, this is in the arena. Ravenous monsters, their eyes shining bright. Courageous hunters looking for a fight. This is where they clash, their spirits alight. First arena match of the save file, let's goddamn go! Let's do this! I feel like a million city! <laughs> God, I'm so glad I picked this voice. I love this screaming woman. With all of my heart, I truly do. This theme goes off? This theme rules? Potions at the ready. Hop on breakfast. Let's go. Get over here, you bear! That's not what I wanted, but I mean, you technically listened. Haha! <laughs> Stopped a mid swipe, that feels good.
Mist, aber. You can't combo into the backswing anymore, which makes me a little sad. Because the backswing is fun. Ow, shoot. I'm gonna need a heal soon. Okay, come on, let me get this. Don't make me regret this. Me. I'm gonna need... Medicine. I totally dodged that on purpose because I'm smart and I have a brain. Shame I didn't get to capitalize on any of that uh, buff song, but you know what happens. Alright, I tripped this bear. Let's hit it in the face. Tetranodon is here! You're ready for capture, though! You son of a bitch! I hate you so much right now. You are the enemy of my life. You hear me? I was terrified that was going to happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've been grabbed. You are the enemy of my life. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get the Baron here! Let's get the Baron here! Yes! Okay! That's what I'm talking about. One down! The bear is going home! Whoop! Whoopie daisy! What's happening? My camera! My camera! Hello? Author's note, where am I? How do we chug to get charged? I should have not sat there. I should have not sat there. Hi, Alexa! We're fighting a sumo wrestler. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, sit down, clown. Yeah, sit down, clown! Say goodbye. Hit confirm. 144. Down you go. <laughs> that missed completely. That missed completely. I'm an embarrassment. There you go. Sit still, why don't you? Maybe you'll feel better. Ow, oh, shoot. Thought I could roll out of that. Not enough to stagger that, but I got out of the way in time. Yowchie wowchie! Whoopie daisy! Here comes the rock! No, never mind, that's just eating. Oh god, I gotta sharpen now. Oh god, no! Oh, <laughs> it was the perfect moment to hit him. Got <laughs> out of that one. Uh huh. 
That's kind of the objective of the quest. <laughs> Thank you for the tip, I appreciate it. There is in fact a reason why it's called Monster Hunter. Alright, right in the head, right in the head! 151! Biggest number I've seen yet. I'm into that. Oh, down you go! Biggest Tetranodon I ever seen. Here comes the messy part. There's a shiny bit over there. I do really like just seeing Simon in all caps on my screen. Shiny Maker. Oh. What's that? I can touch. Um... Oh, it's already gone. I can't see it. Total received. Max. Puppy riding. Hey, you Brady. How you doing today? Saw you were playing the game yourself. Hope you're having fun. God, I love how goofy this end screen looks. Let's take it up. Hey, hell yeah. We get some goodies. Just a second to check something. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm waiting. Uh, I mentioned I wanted to raid uh, my pal Red because they're going to be doing uh, a stream real soon. Uh, like within the next minutes to hour uh, a stream where they're doing fundraiser to help raise some funds to pay off uh, some surgery they're going to need. Uh, so I'm waiting on them to go live before I wrap up, finish. Just because I want to I wanna throw folks on over their way. Uh, so I'm just waiting uh, to see them go live. Uh, so let's do something to kill some time. We need to get my friend Red a new wrist. We really do. Uh, let's see what's in the buddy zone. Alright, let's get those goods. Let's get those bugs. Let's get that single bug. <laughs> God, it's so much easier to just send the Meow Scenarios out to get bugs than to like hunt them down yourself, honestly. Unless they made it less of a pain to hunt them in this one. Uh, God, the bugs can be real fuckers though. Let's run up and see how our friend the owl's doing. Hey, buddy, buddy. Thank you so much for getting all of this for me. I love you. So you've also been a single-player warrior? Yep. I've been focusing on all the single-play stuff so far. And then eventually I'm going to hit up the multiplayer. Speaking of which, Brady, uh... Would you like to do some multiplayer, like... Maybe, like, tonight or tomorrow or something? I don't know if you're busy or not. Oh, kitty taking a break. Oh, kitty taking a break. Cute. All you've done is the optional stuff on multiplayer. Nice. Apparently there's like a system in place, or so I heard people say, where like, uh, if you get through like, the, the the story stuff on like a single player it just like basically lets you go okay so you can just go to like the new high rank stuff now in multiplayer unless I was lied to I might have been lied to that's also a possibility that tends to happen sometimes oh, hi there. 
roulette, you tried 100% each HR? Oh god, me too, you understand. <laughs> Let's change our scouting settings. Uh, two. Fight type. Get ourselves a fight cat. So we have one of every other type so far. Waiting for fight cats to appear. What do you need? Uh, Tell me. We got the cool dogs. Trisha, Icarus, Candy, Scout, Udon, and Blake. Funny puppies. Oh, big stretch! Big stretch on this puppy. Red's not streaming until tomorrow? Oh, dang. Okay. I thought that was today. Oh, tomorrow. I'm a fool. I thought that was today. They said tomorrow. I see. So that's tomorrow. <laughs> but I am having dinner soon, so I am going to wrap up. Uh, I guess now. Drop by any time. Uh, anything else I can wrap up while I'm here? Let's see. Welcome to our trade ship. Give me webs, thank you. Let us negotiate. Time to bug. Will I return Until tonight? Again. Uh, probably not, because I was already in the mindset that I wouldn't be coming back for more, so I was thinking about doing other stuff, so... <laughs> I'm gonna say unlikely. Uh, and, like, in my own time, I'll probably just, like... Uh, run some of the extra like, gathering quests and stuff what I haven't done. Maybe like grind out some other gear, that sort of thing. And then we'll tackle uh... Hang on. That, that kind of ruined the flow of the middle. And then we'll tackle like uh... the key quests next time a stream. That said, I really do want to hunt Pisarios. Maybe one last hunt before we go. Maybe one last hunt before we go. Maybe just one more. Just one more before we go. We're, we're gonna see my boy Basorio. Don't forget to eat. We're gonna see my boy Basorio. Just one more, but like actually just one more. Uh. Oops, no. I need more mats. Hey, Vampa Flavin! Enjoy! Your new skull. Some more of these. Uh, and we've got one more shock trap in storage. Let's try and focus on pitfalls for now until we get some more uh, funny shocking bug. Uh, I think that's all I wanted. Yeah, I reckon that's about it. So. Let's get a dinner. Uh, yeah, give me those points. I'm agreed. Um, what's the one? Deflector, because this is a hardened bouncy boy. And... Fire res. That'll do nicely. Dinner. Always feed your bird. Always feed your bird. Pet the buddy, pet the baby. And then feed your bird. 
ブブブー。Thanks, bud. Let's do hunting. Dude, I'm freaking out. Every time I go to the lava caverns, I keep hearing this creepy voice. Like, I look around and no one is there. No one. Oh,、uh, can you go and check it out for me? I know I'm not crazy. Cold blues and flaming reds. Lava caverns. Trial by fire. Torrents most dire. The dead beckon atop their pyre. In the darkness of the night, fragrant blossoms bloom. As bandits prowl out of sight, a sudden resounding boom. This is not the mountain's roar. Do not be mistaken. What seemed like rocks are rocks no more, and as soon as they awaken. The monster shows its actual form. Both prey and earth are shaken. Bellowing boulder, Basarius. So this monster is my son, and I love it to bits. Where's the chest? Where's the chest? There it is. This monster is my son, and I love it. Jump, jump. Doggy does not want to go up there. That's okay. It's okay, puppy. What's this? Spider webs. Everyone knows the volcano is famous for spiders, and that's truly it. That's truly all the volcanoes are known for. Got one of those horribs, herbs. Herb. Thank you. So that. Nice uppy. Nice jumpy uppy. Uppy jumpy puppy. Goodies. Do some mining. Hey, Dragonite ore. Nice. That's where you get it. Where? You. Hey, Edgar. Where? Puppy. This is our puppy. Thank you so much for the ten-month resell. I appreciate that. This guy screams a lot and very loud and long. I knew I could count on you. Shit! Ow! I thought I could dodge out of that in time. So I actually watched、uh, this stream, or rather, I watched someone stream this fight, and、uh, this got changed in like a really interesting way from.、Uh, How it used to be, which is to say that this man is covered in rocks and is, you know, like you bounce off him a lot because it's rocks.、Uh, but when it uses fire attacks, it, like heats up its own body and that makes those like heated up parts like softer. So you do more damage to them when you hit them when they're heated up. Which I like a lot. That's a really good change in my opinion. Ow! Shit! I thought I could time that through. I could not. Let's heal. Something's coming. Also, he's got a beam. Yeah, they gave him the Agnector mechanic because I guess they didn't bring back Agnector. So they figured something should have it. It's a good mechanic, to be fair. So. Woo. Right, the 
Cutler. Okay, what you do? You charge him? Oh, there's monsters and we're hunting them. So I'd say pretty good. Wow. Thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. Oh god, the alerts are happening while I'm fighting this thing. This is a bad idea. Thank you, Merrick Kulisensky. I appreciate it. Ow, oh, missed. Oh, Jesus! Delayed beam! Okay. Noted. Wizard needs heals badly. Okay. You're gonna roll at me. Here comes the pain. There we go, break the hand. And break it again? Okay. Oh, couldn't get that timing in time. Hey, you Duke. We're gonna wrap up after this fight, but we are hunting. Uh, you're running? You're running. Okay. Where is dog? Oh, breakfast! Oh, breakfast! Let's go breakfast! There we go. Let's get bones. There's bones. I like bones. Let's see. Thank you every day for bones. Ow. And this is why I hate Renaplus. Come on, mean to me, so mean to me. So fucked up and messed up to me right now. Okay, I'm gonna spin that way, so I'm gonna do this now. Nice. I missed that completely, I'm sure. Yes, 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 yes! Nice! Oh, that felt good. Oh god, that almost hit me! I'm glad I staggered that! <laughs> Too tired for a beam. Don't get back here, come on! Oh no, you don't! Nothing Haha, <laughs> what's the matter? Drink. I'll be taking this. Okay, let's get this ready. Right, my dog. What are you goddamn doing over there? Misha! With the raid! Thank you so much. I hope you had a wonderful stream today. Happy birthday again, by the way. We're gonna be wrapping up uh, uh, after we finish up this hunt, but wonderful to have you here. Thanks for stopping on by. Uh, I didn't sharpen yet. Time I forgot to do the thing I said I had to do. Because it helps if you do the things that you say you need to do so that you can, in fact, have done them. Have have them done. Have have doing. Rat hat toying. Chef toying knows the secret to every great toying. Etc. Uh, where are you? Let's doggy drift. You're above me. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Soup of the Days, for that gift sub. Tear up? I don't know. A chill jig! Give that a gift sub to Nisha! Thank you so much! That's awful generous of you. Oh, I hear you screaming, motherfucker. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Gotta get some birds first. You know how it is with birds. Dog is just attacking nothing, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. 
Thanks, breakfast. Uh, no, wait, I wanted to get off here. Uh, so I could go up here. Uh, yippee! And then ride him puppy. Mining on the way! Making progress. Damn, that's hella macalite. I need that macklemore ore. For stuff. Where is Basorio? Are you on the other side of this? You must be. Oh, that didn't do nothing. Okay. Well, let's run up this normal ways, I suppose. There you are! I found you! No. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Thank you, Ratters! For those two gift subs, I appreciate it. Alright, into the wall. There we go. Okay. Sure, big last, big last. I missed. I'm a failure. Whoop. That's okay. I had that funny bug on that gives me the bonus health. Temp HP is a bold new concept for a Monster Hunter game, and I'm kind of into it, honestly. Ow. Didn't dodge that in time. There's a mushroom on your shirt. Oh, man. I'm a failure. I think about that all the time. That fucking Arthur clip. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. I missed it again. <laughs> I missed it again. But I got my spin off at least. That felt cool. Ah, scream me. Whoopie daisy. There we go. There we go. Ooh. 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 Say goodbye. Now? God damn it, you backed up slightly at me. Someday I'm gonna land that attack again and it's gonna be cool. I promise. Oh, jump poisons me. Bust up its tummy. I'm pretty sure you can still bust up its tummy. Enough of poisons at me. Time for a heal! Time for a heal! <laughs> oh, you're limping? Alright, time to Locking capture you. Away. Wait for you to get the heck out. Hey, puppy, 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 puppy! Giddy up, puppy, puppy, puppy! Here you go. Where did you go? Did you just go up? The fuck? <laughs> this place is cool. I guess it did just go under. Okay, I got tricked again. Alright. Time to go all the way back. <laughs> Fuck. 
Coal. Combustible rock that emits a faint warmth. Coal is a unique item. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Where the hell am I, buddy, buddy, buddy? Sorio goes to bed. It's time for my wicked son to return home after gallivanting around. All right. Check out this knife I got! Sorio's shell, Sorio's wing. A pleura, the shell that covers Basarios' torso, relatively thin and easy to manipulate. Shell and wing, shell and pleura. Take off. Also, my cat stole some raw meat from something. So that's cool. Nice. There's a sale going on. I've got some good deal. Time for the lottery. Katie! With the raid! Oh. Hope you had a wonderful stream today, Katie. I'm about to wrap up, but you came just in time to watch me win the lottery. Astounding! What lies inside its golden egg? Your wildest dreams? A tasty omelet? Now I do like a good stealth rock, I do. I don't want to buy anything from here. We should probably buy some more of these. Oh, I need to put them in the item. What are you looking for? How many we got? Uh, let's get some more. That's about twenty. That sounds good to me. Come again. Let's go. Put an egg in her house. Hey, buddy. Let's display. Lucky cat! Ceraticus! Are you winning? I mean, I did just get a golden lucky cat egg, so I think I am winning. Thank you so much for the 213 sub, I appreciate it. Punished Alessa very much for spamming Volt Switch? Well, that's what she goddamn gets! <laughs> I love spikes and stealth rock, and I'm glad other people do too. It makes me feel like a brain genius for throwing them up. Hell yeah. Check out! Our lucky golden cat. Check out our lucky normal cat. The fifth dirty secret of Kimura. We know to the hub maidens. Trying skills. Hmm. Well, uh, to be blunt, they suck. One day I snuck into the gathering hub and saw Minota sketching. She giggled and said she was trying to draw Master Hojo. But it didn't look like Hojo at all. It looked exactly like a Tetranodon. <sighs> Some people have artistic sense, but I don't think Minota was one of them. By my whiskers, wasn't that juicy? I'll update you again once you've completed an urgent quest from Hinoa. I love this fucking gossip monger that just lives in a secret panel in our house. This rude fucking gossip cat. That's a good place to wrap it up for the day, I reckon. This has been a lot of fun. I hope you all enjoyed it too. I just noticed these doggy prints here. I don't know if the dog is making them or if they're just like part of the house. I guess they're just part of the decor. That's cute. Cute. Let's save our game. I guess it also saves when you quit out. Thank you, Simpleton, for the nine month resub. 
monsters, hunting monsters, hunting monsters, hunting monsters. I mean, not anymore. We're we're done for the day. <laughs> That's gonna be it for the stream. Let's see if we got any fan art to show off. Just check real quick. I reckon we probably do. Let's see, let's see, and let us see. Yeah, we got some. Let me get uh, the Discord view up. And we'll check it out. Starting off with this one from John Wick Lover 1994. I saw a bird today that looked like Baby. Hey, hell yeah! I think if all birds looked like that, the world would be very scary because I think birds should have different and fun is different and different is fun. I didn't say that right, but <laughs> the hell am I talking about? Here's what I'm talking about. This picture. It's adorable. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. Video from Plague Song. What if there was a balls and it was rolling? Hell yeah. Very cool. Shouts out. Here's one from Paint Bucket. <laughs> Horn. I reckon this is how it feels to be a monster anywhere in my vicinity. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. I love it. From Plague Saw. Drew Holly's Monster Hunter character in the style of old Japanese artwork. The characters say BB. Very cool. Hell yeah. I like the way you did uh, the hunting horn, making it look like a cool club. Very cool. Also, I love the breaststrokes on the BB. That's a cute touch. Thank you so much. Come on, officially jam. They done fucked up and gave my bird a mech. They done fucked up and gave my bird a mech. <laughs> Hell yeah. Very cool. Thank you so much. Here's this dope-ass frogger from Izzy. Not for the stream, but very cool all the same. Shouts out. Here's one from Lars. Love to see some monster hunting today. Such a nice stream. Inspired me to draw. Yo. Oh, the little Lola? The little Lola? Oh, and you made me look so fucking beefy, too. You flatter me. <laughs> Hell yeah. You love to see it. You really do. God, this rule. I just noticed the little bow tie on the bird, too. That's adorable. Oh, this rules. This is so good. Thank you so much. Big fan of this. Here's one from Zoabob. Everything about Monster Hunter is so fun and cool. Reminds me of Naruto for some reason. Must be the giant bells and the meat. Hell yeah. Oh, this is dope. I love the way you stylize this. Big, big fan of the grayscale on this. Very cool. I like the, like, the harsh blacks against the, like, the stark whites and, like, the different shades of gray. God, this rules. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. We got one last one here from Onion Says Fuck Cops. It's quick and messy, but I had to. There's a mushroom on your shirt. Oh man, I'm a failure! <laughs> Sometimes when I say that, I worry that it comes off as like more self-deprecating than I want it to be, when it very much is me just being like, it would be funny to blow out some to blow something very minor out of proportion. <laughs> This is real cute. Oh, I like the waviness of the hair. It looks real fluffy. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. Let's uh, see if there's anything else I want to show off before we wrap up. 
I wait very patiently to see if Twitter will refresh. Oh, nothing new on the Twitter. No problem. Oh, hang on. We got one last one. Uh, a work in progress from my friend Sign Machine. And it's a little BB. It's a little BB. Oh, cute. Oh. Sign is an absolute delight. Uh, their artwork is a treat, always. Uh, and if this is just a work in progress, I'm very excited to see what the final product is. Thank you so much. I adore this. Hell yeah. That is going to do it for our stream today, then. Let's see who else is live that we can raid, considering how I'm a big goofball and thought that Red's big thing was today, when it in fact, uh is not. It's tomorrow. So we're going to be raiding them tomorrow because I will be streaming tomorrow. Uh, starting around the same time as today. Probably going to go for about a similar time. Another uh, six or so hours. I'm looking forward to it. I hope y'all are too. My friend Rachel's live. Looks like she's doing some more Dark Souls. So I think we're going to throw folks on over her way. Uh, what's a good raid message? What's a good raid message for the raid a good raid message? What's a good raid message what we can do? Uh, hmm. I can't think of anything. I can't think of any raid messages. We're just gonna, we're just gonna throw folks on over her way and, uh... I don't know, you can post hearts or something if you want. You can just be nice. How's about that? Uh... That... All that said, uh, that... is gonna be it for our stream today. Monster Hunter good. It turns out... Monster Hunter is, in fact, good. I had a lot of fun today. And I hope you all did too. Thank you all so much for the support today. All the subs, all the tips, all the bits. Uh, your generosity uh, is not unnoticed and uh, has been real, real helpful for me recently. So thank you all so much. And thank you all, of course, for all the follows, for all the raids, uh, thank you for all the beautiful fan art we had today, and thank you all so much for tuning in. You know, whether you were only here for a little bit, or you managed to stick around for the whole stream, uh, whether you only stopped in right at the start, or you only hopped in right here at the end, it's always a delight to have you here. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend it here with me. We're gonna be raiding my pal Rachel, who's doing some Dark Souls. She is an absolute delight, uh, and is probably uh, the only interesting person on the internet that talks about Dark Souls lore. <laughs> and I do not mean that lightly, my god, she is an absolute treat and she knows her stuff. If you're sticking around for the raid, I hope you have a wonderful time. I hope you're kind to her and you show her all the support that you show me. We're going to be back again tomorrow, around the same starting time, for more Monster Hunter. I hope to see you there. Maybe I'll see you around next stream? Or maybe I'll see you around some other time. But no matter what happens before we take off, I'd just like to say, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you again soon.